Cough, 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 cough. Get some coughing. Cough, 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 cough. Oh, God. Right at the beginning. Holy crap. Of course, Lunar Fox was going to do that. <laughs> ah, you got to love the Lunar Fox. I mean, why wouldn't it happen, right? It was meant to be. Whatever will be, will be. Oh, it's muted on stream? Holy crap. Okay, let me fix that. Let me fix that. Ugh. I put things on my headphones so much that I forget that I that I should go back to the old inputs. There it is. It's not muted anymore. That's what that's what that's what's happening. Old inputs. Old inputs. Ah. See, there we go. See, there we go. Now you can hear it. What's up, Gaijin? What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. There we go. <laughs> Take two. Four minutes. You're early for once. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ow. Andis and Odin MVT. Welcome, welcome to the show, to the program. They're chilling with me. Damn it. Oof. I'm getting smacked. Holy crap. Guys, I think I'm addicted to uh, Funnings at this point. I think I'm addicted to Funnings. I really think I am addicted to Funnings at this point. What's up, Kate? I have some little bit of difference, different savers. I have a question for you. Why did I get double pied? You see this? I got double pied. They're gone now. But you saw that. It wasn't just me. I got double pied. And hydrate. Thank you. That's intense. It's effing intense. <laughs> do we need an intervention about my funding addiction? I don't know. What we need, what we do need to have, is my regular BGM. 
Where is it? I think there it is. We need that. Because we can't have silence in the moments that I'm not talking. Ow! Dear Lord, you guys are smacking me. Holy crap. Use them points. <laughs> yeah, of course, use them. Oh, God. That, ow! Jesus. That chancla was straight to the face. You saw that? I felt it. You saw it, but I felt it. Holy crap. Oh, no! <clears throat> the box got knocked out. <clears throat> Ouch. Damn. Holy, what the hell? <laughs> Damn, dudes. Y'all are really after me right now. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yuzuru? Today's your B-Day. Holy crap. Happy birthday. Uh, I, I, could, I could embarrass you and just play birthday music, but I'm not sure you would want that. <laughs> I'm not sure you would want that. But we're going to do it anyways, because, I mean, why not, right? Mm, there we go. Happy birthday Michael Scott, to, to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Queen. Happy birthday to you. There we go. <laughs> the embarrassment by this one. Happy birthday! That stuff, you know, this embarrassing stuff. bit even eight bit even watch me get copyright struck from disney for that crap for some reason of course you do you're a part of the community of course we're gonna say happy birthday but i have a question for you guys an interesting question that some of you may be able to answer and some of you may not be able to answer but we're gonna take a look of the things you've watched which one which one of the things you've watched is better as the book or, or the movie? Like, You know how we all watch some things. What's better, the book or the movie? What would you guys say? As I finish my funnings. Now, when it comes to Tolkien stuff, like Lord of the Rings, Tolkien stuff, yeah, it would depend. Okay, when it comes to Lord of the Rings Tolkien stuff, did you like the books or did you like the movie? Ah, Frankenstein and Bridge of Terabithia. Did you watch any of the movies of Frankenstein or Bridge of Terabithia? Because Frankenstein has been done a lot. Have you watched any of those? And can you tell me, in your opinion, if it's better or worse? You didn't read these books? I didn't read all of those books. I read, I think, one. But, oh, the one that I did read, it was, I think it was a Cermillion or something like that it was called. I forget the fuck it, what the fuck it was called. Um, The book seems to go into more detail. At least in Tolkien's works, the book seems to do better. Like, it seems to go into more detail than the movies do. The movies seem to gloss over a lot of things that Tolkien took, you know. Because, of course, Tolkien wants... Tolkien in his books was building the world first, which you have to do in the in the books. And he built it really well. And Peter Jackson was a fan. What's up? Ready Player One is much, much better than the book. Ah, okay, Lunar Fox. Because I did see I did see Ready Player One in um in the movie. So if the books are much better, then damn, it's a good book. What's up, Suni? Hagtara clap. Honestly, a movie guy yourself. We're just doing random chats. Random chats about, like, you know, if you thought the book was better than the movie, and which one did you think was, like, which which book, which movie did you think was better? You know, regular stuff that you could be asking. Arrogant Worm's birthday song. Okay. Story is very different between the book and the movie. Okay. So the movie took a different turn because probably it wasn't, you know, it didn't fit what the, the director wanted, I guess. Bridge to Terabithia was good, but my teacher insists the book 
is better because it's more nuanced. To me, I actually prefer my experience being less than two hours. Yeah, that's the thing. The books can be more nuanced. The books can expand much more because if you're reading a book, you're going to, and it's like their full story. Usually people don't have problems with books being 100, 200, 300 pages long. Uh, a movie, if you have to go through like an eight hour movie or whatever, then that's a problem. I think things like um, not Spart at Spartacus, I think the original Spartacus and the Ten Commandments and those things were long ass movies. Back then, they were so long. They would do like two hours. Then they would do like an intermission where it was an actual intermission. And like a good 20 minute intermission and then finish the rest of the movie. We don't have that nowadays. I guess I don't think we have that nowadays. But yeah, back then, like if you watch Spartacus or you watch Ten Commandments, watch any of those old movies, like some really old movies, like Cleopatra and things like that, I think you would get like two hours of a movie an intermission and then you go back into the movie. That's what would end up happening. Because, I mean, they understood people like freaking sitting down two hours to watch something is cool. They need a little bit of a rest, a little bit of relaxation, and then you can go back to two hours. Yeah, books can, can really establish their lore a lot better. It definitely can. We'll keep talking about this as we watch people do weird stuff. Share the Funyuns, yes, LM. Always, I always share the Funyuns with you guys. You know that. Okay. Oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> Hold on, if I Press lean e in. Right now. No, 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 you stop. Milky. Oh <laughs> no, that wants milkies. Make her stop, go away, shit. Like milky. Please. Put her over here. God, no. <sighs> Yeah. Why am I upside down? <laughs> Why are you just doing handstands? I, I I deliver. I deliver for for the people. Hey, the problem. It's nice to hey, meet yo. you, Shotoku. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nah, man. Why so. don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Stop <laughs> making this awkward. What is wrong? This is who I am. I, I, <laughs> so. I believe the Ready Player One novel was mostly about corporate greed, where I've seen before, wink, wink, and now these corporal types can and will pretty much enslave you. Oh, they will. Corporate types will enslave you if they get the chance, definitely. Okay, so light web novels, the manga, manhwa, and animes are better most of the time. Yeah, the anime, uh, the mangas usually are better than the animes. Uh, sometimes the animes are very true to the manga, and they will, um, like they will go really hard into the whole manga thing. They definitely will. The most infamous movie adaptation is Artemis Fowl. Nobody who liked the books respects what the Disney did. Yeah, I've heard about that. Not Milky Milky. I have my bag of peas. Okay. Bag of frozen peas because I don't have ice in my fridge. So I'm going to use that instead. Um, I, I couldn't find an ice pack, but I did found uh, I did find a frozen block of string cheese. What? How? Why do you have oh wait? Why do you have frozen string cheese? Okay, okay, can we start? Can we start? Yeah, do you yeah, put yeah. in your do you put in? Okay, okay. Can we start to figure out why she has frozen string cheese? <clears throat> not male milk, no, not male milk. Speaking of that movie, pretty sure they're making a part two. Wait, really? A part two of Artemis Fowl? Holy crap. Uh, or or part two of which one? Um, Yeah, part two of Adam's Foul. Holy crap. That'd be interesting. To keep it longer, of course. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean... They, they, I mean, you can only go so far with movies. And, of course, um, what you were saying with Better Player One about uh, the corporations enslaving you, that's definitely going to be something. Put it in right now. Put it in. Yeah, put it in. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that feels oh, yeah, I love that. It feels great. I love... mm -hmm. <laughs> they all hate it. They hate it. They absolutely hate it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, I'm not excited for this. What do you mean? <laughs> I never said anything about that. I Dude, can't. this is this ain't my first rodeo. This is my third rodeo with this. By third the way. rodeo? So I'm oh, just God. Saying, like, I'm used to this at this point. But, is yeah. this the same bag of peas? Autocorrect is not helping. It might be. Autocorrect is it not helping. Be. Of course Why? not. <laughs> dude, what's the problem with it? It's, dude, I'm the only one eating the peas anyways. 
So you've defrosted them and frosted them three separate times. I would not like um, ice cold ice pack in my pantaloons. I would not like that in my pantaloons. No, thank you very much. No, thank you. Ready player one part two going to have hell divers. Ah, oh, it's going to be hilarious. Having hell divers and power world reference. <laughs> direct contact with your unmentionables. Nope. I would not want them in direct contact with my unmentionables. What's up, Capybara? You walked in at an interesting time. You absolutely did. Putting ice pack on the belly button on a humor night is the best feeling. Oh, God. With as long mom. as you enjoy it. No, as long no, as you no, have no, fun. No, 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 That's what matters, time, right? The first time with, and... the, no, the first time was with ice. The second time was with my with those the peas. And the third time is again with the peas. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, Bye. let me get my backwards hat on. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Hey, you hey, come hey. around here, shoddy. <laughs> shoddy. I don't want. Like I don't want. Get the, that the, at Spencer's. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you. That's it's uh. It, you uh hit the gym lately? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went yesterday. Actually. What uh, kind of pre-workout you use? <laughs> I take I take bucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, My favorite. Not the F boy accent actually, exactly. Uh, I'm actually vegan, so you know. Um, I, I may I or may not have uh, ubu'd you guys. I may or may not have ubu'd you guys. You know, not not everyone really gets it. No, I didn't ubu'd you guys at all. That you guys are imagining you things. You guys are absolutely thing? imagining things. It didn't just happen. I don't think I can take this. I, I don't. I, like I can't. Form, I actually can't take this, dude. Make it stop. Make it fucking stop. Oh, I don't like hear this shit anymore. Your form's really good. Oh god, man. <laughs> Body <laughs> can't let her continue this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually. <laughs> What's it gonna? Hi, Bell. Hey, Numi. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, I have. I'm in a box, and the uwu is Whoa. echoing in the box. You kind of. You gotta erase the memory. Yes, erase the memory, please, please. <laughs> you watch anime? <laughs> you think so? Uh, yeah. The colored hair is really. F for respect. Yes. Me off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well. you excited for Jujutsu Kaisen? <laughs> I mean, I was always hoping to watch it with, you know. Someone special. Oh my god. Oh yeah, my god. I mean, I would watch it. They're with both you, going right I'm at each other. Holy crap. On the manga. <laughs> I could teach you how to read the manga, though. It's actually right to left. <laughs> Not sure if you knew that. I was always reading left to right. Oh, <laughs> Every, everyone does that. Baka. Oh god. Everyone no. Does that. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Wanna, like, hang out in maybe the manga section at Barnes and Nobles. It's the girls your mom warn you about. Yes. Um, they're the girls your mom warns you about, but and, but you aren't, you don't beware regardless. Yeah, exactly. You sound like you're about to bust. Is everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the only thing that's busting is my love for you. <laughs> oh God. But, um, I'm like a girl who knows how to. Express no. Shoto Doko. You wanna? You wanna go to Burger King? <laughs> Let's go to see something else. I think I new animations. When was this? Four months ago. Okay. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. Hi, YouTube. He, 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 he. Excited. I have a very special surprise that I haven't even seen. So, you know, you're going to have to give me one second here. Synchro what? I can peek over. Gonna... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first preview for this moment group movie time group movie time okay make sure you bring your children it's great it's great let's fucking go your child okay. bring your wife yeah 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 look after that look <laughs> so good so good the tongue out <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> <laughs> shit stop it up. oh The tracking is great. I think. I, I, can I just be ahead? I think I was better. I was happier being ahead. <laughs> oh, what was that? Yeah, the smile looks okay. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah. 
It's a lot of expression. That's a lot of expression. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she's actually ever used it. I really don't know if she's actually ever used it. Yeah, the I got alert. <laughs> it's cursed. <laughs> With your long ringtone, right here. Your long ringtone. Oh, she's bouncing with her tongue out. <laughs> this part. This part. This part. Bouncing with her tongue out. <laughs> Sorry, please. Is that safe for work? Is that even safe for work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Look away, children. I'm sorry. I didn't What's up, Maddie? Bring your children. Holy shit. I'm okay. Make sure you bring your children. Oh my god. Never this is a of synchronicity. Ah, this is a mistake. Oh my lord. What happened? What happened? Oh god. Oh god. He does have an expressive figure, it <laughs> looks like. This is not how it was meant to be. That's good. Uh, yeah, that looks great. That yeah, that puffy, that, the puffiness looks good. That's awesome. Sayu, I guess she is. I think she's a cyborg. Looks like she is. She's like freaking um, cyberpunk okay. type of thing. Well, that was fun. Like in in that whole that whole sense. What's up, Tesla? <laughs> what did you just see when you came in? Uh, did you just come in at this point? I think you came in at this point. Yeah, that's that's where you came in. Yes, that's where you came in. Who oh boy, man, please. Perfect. Perfect for oh god, perfect for good. <laughs> Cracks aside, how's it going? It's going well, Menos. It's going well very well. Thank you. Good. I'm doing good today. <clears throat> Her emotions are so fluid. WTF. Yeah, they're very fluid. I have no idea who who they got as the rigger. But they must have spent a pretty penny to get things rigged the right way. Either that, or the rigger went through the uh, effort to do this just because they like sight and they wanted to help. You also came in at that point. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see. Let's take a look at what Maddie has sent because Maddie hasn't sent something in a long ass time. So let's take a look. Oh, I remember this one. The sexy chess pieces. Epic anime chess. Okay. Well, the king is all sad. Yep. Now it becomes the queen. Oh. <laughs> Horse power. Power by tea time. Hilarious. Uh, let's see. She's coming up on her button. <clears throat> Here she is. She's about to have that 100k play button. Size model always looks so pleasing. Very true. Sexy chess pieces, not the word association combo I never expect in life, but here we are. Exactly. Anime chest, hell yeah. <laughs> Beware of counter sniper. There's a counter sniper? I know about the rook. Stop right there. The battery. <laughs> Holy crap, there we go. Don't stand next to each other. Make chains. Ow. 
and passant. Okay. Yeah, the king can attack anybody. Ah, you suck. That's what I would do. This right here. Ah, when you have a promote, you can't do a check. Oh, this is Buckshot Roulette. This is Buckshot Roulette. Exactly, that was Buckshot Roulette. That's for freaking two hours, never mind. 20 minutes, not two hours, 20 minutes, whatever. But what's a Chibi Doki? Chibi Doki face reveal, oh god. Here you go. This is me and my other. I didn't expect you to see me in there? Well, I, I, I try to make sure I can see everybody. I can see you, I can see me, I can see everything. They do look cool as hell. They definitely do. No stalemate is when a king is not in check, but you cannot move in. Ah, okay. That's me. Look at it. Wow. This picture of me got leaked on the interwebs. On the interwebs. On the okay. interwebs. And I had no choice, but I cropped the feet up. I, I'm not small. I'm not small. I'm not. I'm not small. Yeah, she is. People said, by the way. How do you guys think that is a doorknob at the top? That is not a doorknob. It's like a ah, when I shrink. Ah! It's not a doorknob. It's like a, it's like a thing in the wall, like a like a like a screw in the wall. A ah, it is. In the wall. A screw in the wall. Large head. Can I see you, dude? I don't know. Where the booba? The booba doesn't exist. My head is not big. But she has a full, big is forehead. My head not big. An average height, by the way. Average height. She's taller than me, lol. Yeah, the internet will turn into anything. Into yeah. NBC waifu, am, yes. I'm. Why did you chop up the feet? Chapa, dooby, dooby, daba, daba. Yes. Wait, are you a real woman? Sadly. Oh, no. Sadly. Oh no no no! For 17 months I've been watching a woman. <laughs> oh God. Oh, thank you so much for coming to watch. No, no. Guys? Okay, seriously, if I <laughs> no, okay. if I actually did that, ah. okay. Listen, I'm not a. I'm not. Think of the queen as a simp. Okay. I'm not a, I'm not a lewd tuber. Okay, I I like to. I'm I'm perfectly comfortable with being naked because being oh, naked God. is one thing. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. Okay, I like to toe the line. I like to. I like to. I'm doing good today. Thank you, Scotty. No. Gotta go for now. All right, Clarence, see you soon, hopefully. Call it being an adult, because as an adult, this is a topic that sometimes you have to talk about and sometimes you joke about, right? Yeah, and also, I understand that. Being naked to me is 100% natural, okay? It is. However, once I start getting into like the toy aspect of it, then it gets a little. Yeah. Maybe we're like really towing the line, okay? <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Okay, I I wouldn't be opposed to doing something like that because I think it would be kind of fun because I think doing things in life are fun. Yes. But if you think but? I'm going to go past that, I'm, I ain't. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm, I ain't. Oh, go, go past the line. Oh, go, I was like, go past okay. what? Go past the line. <laughs> okay. And then I'm probably never, I'll Thank you, Scotty. No, appreciate you always being here. And never talk about it again. <laughs> Whenever you can, of course. <laughs> okay. My goal in life is to do something. Is to do things that no one like thinks of doing, or like, or like things that I've never done. You know what I mean? So like, if I haven't done a thing, like if I haven't made a merch item or done a collab or something like that, I want to do it. So. Does that mean we'll finally get the buff plug? <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Buff plug. Oh. <laughs> Could you imagine? Dude, there's no way that it's gonna happen. There's no way. Buff, puff, if that buff happens, plug. Yes. I will. I will literally myself if that happens. Okay. If that happens, dude, I will. I will. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I, would, I would scream. I would scream. How would you even advertise it? There's no way for me to advertise it. Yeah, no, there isn't. Just call it a doorstop. Call <laughs> it the doorstop. Nice. Guys, look at this doorstop that I have. 
Isn't it awesome? Look yeah, it's true. You either go in all in or not at all. <laughs> and that's so cool, guys. It holds your door <laughs> and other things. Maybe your ass. You never Maybe know. your ass. Oh, <laughs> Talking Bird's doing some day, some I some finals you... thing. Man, look, I would be dead. I usually am dead among the first like I don't know couple of people. Usually, I'm dead. Oh dear, that person's going. Ag they're going aggressive. Oh no! Now she has to deal with. Oh god! Again. Oh, she 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 just she's, she's inside of somebody. She Doki Bird was inside of somebody for a bit. Yeah, she might get the prize money this time. There's um, <clears throat> there's still seven squads left though, <clears throat> at least in her in her uh bracket. I guess what you would call it. I guess what you'd be in her bracket. There's still uh fourteen squad, fourteen people left. Seven squads left. She's meow. Okay. Miss Miss Lauren Twitch. Meow. You left autoplay on? Yeah. I do do that. On, I do do that sometimes. Uh oh. Drag down twenty nine other people. <laughs> oh, people be knocking. People be knocking. What's, what? What the hell's going on here? It said doo doo. It said doo doo. Surely, surely, I I can. Uh, You're right, Menos. They'll probably use a cactus. Lunar New Year merch. The Lunar New Year merch chat. What about the Lunar um, New Year merch? It we didn't have happen. One more week left. We have one more week for Lunar New Year merch. Um, people who ordered the buttons and stickers might only the buttons and stickers might receive them earlier because I actually received the stickers before uh, anything else. So, oh wow, that's interesting. So you might receive your stickers um, only for people who order stickers. Only the only the people who only order the stickers and the buttons because um, they separated the delivery and I received the stickers first. Oh wow! So so the other stuff will take teammates a while are the other. Stuff Deeds, will still take deeds a and uh, <laughs> don't know who else. <laughs> deeds, ah, place when fifth. When does everything else ship out? Uh, most likely, uh, May, May or June. Most likely, it's around May or June. Um, the reason being is that the products are shipped via. Oh, oh wait, this is it. This isn't teams. Boat? This isn't teams. This isn't teams. This is um. Oh no, this isn't teams. I think this these these this is solos. I think this is solos. Uh, there were a lot of them. Oh no, there's teams. It's definitely teams or, or doubles it or something. There was a lot of them. So like You got some fancy Chinese Pringles and it had sushi earlier? Ooh, that's fancy. That is fancy. We'll keep that going. But we'll also take a look at something that, that Maddie has sent. I think you sent this one. Yes he did. Light on. Light, light out. Lights on. 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 <laughs> yeah, the lights on. Lights on. Lights on. Lights on. And then you have. Uh... Oh God, no. You have that one, yes. <laughs> Braised pork flavor, nice. Got pizza Pringles. Pizza Pringles are pretty freaking good. That was a hell of a mixing stand up like that. I shot the scientist, you shot our scientist. That's like that. I think we need to jump in the water. That would be ridiculous. Into the water. That is the in water. That side is in water. Whoops. Whoops, that side was in water. Let's see this one. What am I thinking about right now? My. <gasps> <laughs> I, I'm offended. I, I'm honestly offended. Okay, I, I would not be. 
<laughs> it actually made him squirt. It actually, you saw Bow squirt here first. She squirted here on stream right in front of you. You saw it here first, people. She squirted here first. <laughs> I, I'm offended. I, I'm honestly offended. Okay? I would not be thinking about oh, that. Oh, God. If you. <laughs> so crazy. Is Bao a good girl? I don't know. Why don't you show me what a good girl you are, Bao? Um, oh, God. I, 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 uh, I got a 3.8 GPA, and um, I stream on time, and uh, um, uh, I, I prepared all these questions for us that I knew would be fun, and um, mm, mm, meow. <laughs> wow, you're such a good girl, Bao. I'm so proud of you. Later, Scotty. No, thank you for being here. Oh God. Wow, you're such a good girl, Val. <laughs> Mr. H and H does some I'm interesting so animations. I gotta you. say. <laughs> I guess you can sleep on my bed tonight. Sleep on my bed tonight. Wait. I guess you she squirted can... again. Damn, Val on squirted twice on, on stream right now. I'll, I'll, I'll sleep at your at your feet too. I'll, I'll curl around your feet, and so that way, you know, your feet never get cold, ma'am. She's definitely a bottom. Perfect. <laughs> He's definitely a bottom. Holy crap! The heck, bow exactly. Love the cultural culture sur subtitles. Yes. Feel very weird seeing this. I mean, it, I, I I don't I don't blame you. It is it it is it is a uh, an experience, so to speak. It is definitely an experience. Really captures Bao's bottom energy. Yes. Pillow princess for a reason. Exactly. She definitely wants the whole pillow princess experience. Where's Latrell? Dance floor. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Probably. These are the peck thing. Holy crap, man. Let's watch more H and H stuff. Cause he's he's good. He's good at what he does. Wait, he What am I thinking about right now? My <gasps> Power VTuber at animation. That was seven hours ago. What in the unholiest of hells is this stuff? It's it's the internet. <laughs> the internet is quite an unholy hell. Buff dudes, fun, yes. Oh my god, Tenma would go insane. If any of you guys know who who Tenma is from um from Face Connect, uh she would go insane. She goes insane for buff dudes. She loves buff buff guys. She loves the buff guys. She loves the buff guys, you guys. She loves the guys. She loves the buff guys. It's just energy. It's just 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 energy. Bro, it's Demon Man from TF2. Demo man. But still, it's the buff guys. It's the buff guys. Bao is going to be loving the buff guys. So let's go with this. Hey, do you want to feel so energetic? Try Clara Kaminari, a VTuber for people who need gratuitous amounts of energy. With all new moves <laughs> like Pikachu, deathly energy, just by adding your finger to an electrical outlet. What the Sound hell? Sound the alarm. You're going to be uncomfortably energetic. What's that? You want say so? Well, how about say no? Made with lightning. Oh, God. Real lightning. Skeletons. Oh. She'll date all of them. It's a VTuber for men and women. Generate <laughs> equal energy. These equal aren't energy. your dad's puns, but he's in her age range. Hide oh, God. Dad. Hide your research, dad's. Research, energy, research, energy, biology, anthropology, ecology, more ology than your mind has room for. She'll be sifting through topics so fast, your brain will be like, slow down. <laughs> and she'll be like, fuck you, and kick you in the face with her energy legs. You'll have so much energy, energy. Ah! Just singing all the time. Power gaming, power boating, power singing, power dating, power farming, power laughing, power spawning babies. You'll end up like Erica. 400 cops. Oh, Show God. Show clarity to your babies and make them lose brain cells. Make your babies become abnormally cursed. They'll start talking in Japanese. Japanese. People will see them crying and think they're speaking Japanese. They'll read more Japanese kanji than actual oh, God. Japanese people. And it'll be suspicious and they'll get deported back to Japan. You mean, you mean, you wait, wait. Kate, you mean I'm in a skin suit? Now that 
That is something new. That is news for me. How much okay? I don't know. I don't know much how much of that that substance is going on here. Hey, go with a sure thing. Don't gamble on your energy. Emprag! Try oh, Clara God. Kaminari, the VTuber that will make you up, ah, Mipples up. Ah! What? Wait, what? You up, ah, Mipples up. Ah! Oh God, he 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 showed Squirt there too. Holy crap. H and H has, is it's a matter of culture, I guess. He sounds like an angry Chihauha. What's chi a Chihauha? An angry Chihauha. Chihuahua, you fool. He sounds like an angry Chihuahua. 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 Yeah, This is as seen on TV reference. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's what it is, Tesla. Uh, let's see. Um, very old parents-ish animation. Okay, here we go. So, this is, this is famous. Water. This is famous. This is the famous one. There. What? Uh, oh, maybe Tema Jen has it. I, I don't know about water. Really? Really, Tema? Where's the water? This ain't a beach. This is a butt sub. <laughs> <laughs> what? You mean beach? Yeah. You mean beach? Yeah. Beach. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, these are two different words, actually. One will get you demonetized on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. No, I see a quite a bit. B B yeah. No, there's no T. There's no T in it, mean? Tenma. I don't see the T. I see B. B. <laughs> yeah, I see B. I don't get it. I think we go and have fun to the beach. I think you're talking about something else. You were talking about like, <laughs> capturing virgins earlier and building a no, harem of women. Yeah, yeah the beach. Beach. The beach. Are you talking about beach. going to the beach? Yeah, we go to the beach and find water on the beach. Water on the beach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I worry for you. Well, how do you say it? Beach. 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 Oh, not beach. Beach. <laughs> beach. Oh, no, damn it. <laughs> beach. Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's molding! She's molding! She's Why are you being such a beach about it, Tenma? I don't get it! Beach. 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 Beachy! 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 Tongue should not touch the roof of your mouth when you say it. That's a complicated, like, explanation. It is, uh, when it comes to pronounce it. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. You know what? You a bitch. You a bitch. The chat is a bitch. This whole map is a bitch. Fuck this bitch. You know what bitch means? To go to build sandcastles. Yeah. Why are you oh. telling them to go build sandcastles? Because it's nice and they need a vacation. <laughs> that was nice. That was cute kettle. And this is the actual one. Mm. That's a ladder. <laughs> that's out of water, you silly. You're not this supposed to tell her! You're not supposed to tell her! That's an old bunch of people down! This ain't a bitch! This no. is a bad song! No, you're not supposed to say that! Uh-oh. Pretend like you don't know anything. What Just are you two in. doing? So, I heard you have water. What? Uh, oh, maybe Temujan has it. I, I don't know about water. Really? Really, Tenma, where's the water? This ain't a bitch, this is a butt sub. <laughs> bitch? Huh? Do you mean beach? Yeah. Do you mean beach? Yeah, be beach. Beach. <laughs> no. no, these are two different words, actually. One will get you demonetized on YouTube. What? Yeah, one will get you demonetized on YouTube season too much, so I'm gonna have to not watch this one, because, like, holy crap. Oh, God. Um. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll watch that one later. We'll watch a caked up Godzilla in a little bit. We'll watch caked up Godzilla in a little bit. <laughs> we'll watch caked up Godzilla in a little bit. Hey, are you ready? You're an insane digest. Looks like I can just kill him. <laughs> now Bishop go there and attack the rook. Okay, sire. <laughs> hey, boy, come here. As you say, queen. Now, it's time to sacrifice. The rook! Hey, you can do that? Come and kill me. I am no fool, you fool. If I kill you, then your queen will kill my queen. Damn, when did he became that smart? <laughs> if you really want to sacrifice your rook, we just become best friends? friends. Yep! I was joking. I don't want to sacrifice myself anymore. Kill the rook now, Bishop. As you command. Ooh. Now this queen Ooh. gonna die. Look carefully. Checky, checky, check, check. 
Again, checky, checky, check, check. <laughs> you basically lost the rook for nothing. Ha 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 ha. Ah, oh, that's the kind of moves I would make. New Freaking slide. A. We are losing. We need to start trading pieces. Let's start with me. No queen. Why you? Because we need to get rid of her. My simp will take revenge. I am ready. Come at me. Time to forever! Time to forever! No, my queen. You will now pay for this. Ooh. By coming here, you block the rook from protecting this pawn. That's actually like, it's complicated. It looks very complicated, honestly. But I was targeting that weak pawn. Evil, evil. Check. Ooh. King, maybe my time has come. I can't move there because of the king. I can't stay here for this rook. I can't go there for this rook. And I also can't move there because of the pawn. So now I am going to Wakanda forever myself. Kanda forever! Every one of my major pieces has died. I Jesus Christ! Checky, checky, check, check. Again, check. Ha ha ha, stalemate. I have nowhere to move, but your pawn can move, though. If I kill the pawn with this pawn, then it will be stalemate for real. So you pawn kill him, allowing his other pawn to move. Yes, my king. I guess only you can move now. Go. Die. Now I am. Yep. This is not working. You pawn go ahead. <laughs> That's gonna be very fun. It can be. It's like, it's like, it's like looking at me trying to play. Anything you say. Come Rook, let's finish the game. Check me. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's, let's look at the caked up freaking, uh, Mickey Mouse there. I'm gonna uncensor my horns and if I see anyone lick, you're actually being banned. And your head pat? No more head pats, you're gonna go bald. Stop your face! Oh! Stop! Her name is Chibi and she was born without a brain. <laughs> oh my god, my queen, Tina. Would you guys be there for me if I was going through something? No. Nope, absolutely not. Oh, it sucks. I hope it emotionally scars you for the rest of your life. You reach out to me so I can ignore you. <laughs> Damn, you know, they've they been doing rough say, stuff. Holy crap, know, man. Change that up. <laughs> I was like, Ray, would you come to my funeral? And he said, no, I'm gonna be busy that day. I'm gonna have diarrhea. Like, what? <laughs> God, it's noble, dude. Next time you look at a girl's butt, just know. There's poop inside. Oh, God, what the hell? <laughs> oh, what the hell? Okay, I hopefully this is the same Sniffa, where sniffa. Oh, the humans God. Sonic oh, God. God. Let's see, Dusty. Licky, 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 licky. Sonic! Oh, God. Not clean. You're my only friend. You're my only friend. <laughs> my classmates bully me because they think I'm a furry. And my parents only feed me rocks. You're the only Oh, God, they only friend. feed me rocks? Please. Chris. Cope. <laughs> Just kill me already. I'm a villain, not a monster. What? You can call me Miku. Blue hair, blue tie, hiding in. Oh no! Oh no! Los pueblos hermanos. Welcome to your first day on the job. Make yourself stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is actually so well done. When you said you were it is well done. in bed, but you know what? This explains it. This explains everything I need to know about this post. Yeah. You know what pisses me off is apparently I get posted on iFunny all the freaking time. And I said two years ago, I said if you get posted on iFunny, you know you're unfunny. So well, well, well. This better not be a fan edit of him moaning. I'm not even kidding. I see it on TikTok enough. I'm gonna freaking get pissed off. It better not be. <laughs> This is poor. What? Rule three of the pirate code. Bedtime at eight. Rule three, yes. <laughs> Never forget. Turtle. 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 I crush it in my hand? <laughs> send this to a friend, but don't say anything. What did you send me? Hey, you. Yeah, you. I see you scroll it with them dry ass lips. Wait, did you hear me lick them? <laughs> <laughs> dry lips have an ass. He was right, too. He was right, too. Those things were freaking like covered in the beetle. Beetle. Wait, you gave me a complex beat. What is this? What fun is a Freddy's? The team at Hacksmith Industry. How did I get that from this? Honestly, bro, if I had a penis, it would be microscopic. I saw this and was like, is that Five Nights at Freddy's? How the For the team at Hacksmith Industry. Killing the world's brightest outside. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck is that? You need to not die a virgin and he grants you immor immortality. Oh no! He granted immortality in order to not die a virgin. That is just lovely. Take a look at this. It's a little Matara Khan break. I'm single because I've eaten all my ex-husbands. It's a lot easier to murder them 
and cannibalize their bodies than it is to get divorced. And then if you you learn something new every day, the more you know that whole N ABC NBC meme thingy. Get divorced, you forever have to say you're divorced, right? But if I eat them, we're fine. Is it even murder if it's dinner? When a lion the traitor the young oh god. Are we calling it murder? No. It's just <laughs> It's just dinner. <laughs> I'm single because I Yes, it's it's just dinner. Don't point at me. First of all, why is it a bad Yeah, she's not wrong. It's not it's not the M word. It's just dinner. She's just doing what large galactic roaches do. You know what I mean? It's exactly what large galactic roaches just do. That just means I'm going to heaven. God doesn't allow losers? What the f- Explode your f***ing small. You're a f***ing bed loser's penis blast. What, what the f***? If guns kill people, I guess forks make people fat? You know what actually kills people? Five Nights at Freddy's! Five Nights at Freddy's! Because yes. if you go to FNAF Freddy Five Bears... <laughs> I knew it! Good eyes, motherfuckers waiting for- Trill! <laughs> Did you know that blue eyes are a sign of incest in your family line? What? Ah, in some way or another, we're all a little bit inbred, and that's what's special about us. I hate bears. I will say this. I don't hate them like I want them to. I guess we are all a little in. This sounds so wrong, though. We're all a little inbred. I mean, we are all the same species, but we're not closely familially related, so I guess species-wise we're inbred, but that's the only way it can happen within species. We can't do interspecies stuff. Been here about five minutes. Yes, yes, we are. What's up, Sophia? What's up? What's up? What's up? Later, four tube. Later, later tube. Later tube. Later tube. I'm late about this. All the kind of stuff. Super fashion will be late. Yes, sketch therapy. Uh, yeah, we've been having fun. Like giving a little bit of rest and relaxation since I did do a video earlier today about the Luca, uh, Luca Kaneshiro fans reporting. Um the videos that people are making about it so what's up what's up what's up sophia of course we're gonna get into nitty sandy stuff eventually but i wanted to you know just have a little bit of uh cheer and just you know funny a little bit of funny here and there you know what just salt me and present me to matara exactly that's what a lot of people look a lot of people then you can eat me salvi i'm hungry i'm effing hungry exactly she ain't wrong Honestly, they should be grateful. Finally, a break from the ad drama. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Uh, I want it to be. Everyone knows about the drama. Everyone knows about what's going on with the drama. Hell, I made a video about the drama. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a break. God, I'm fucking hungry. That one. There you go. The hunger check. I have eaten a bag of Funyuns, a small bag of Funyuns. One of those like the one that used to be 25 cents. The 25 cent bag of onions, the the the, the uh, lunchbox bag of onions. We're all related by genetics. We all come from yes, yes, genetically speaking, biologically speaking, that's where a lot of our our oldest ancestors are from, the African continent. So yes, we all came from there. Been downloading videos, had a feeling about them. Yeah, it's very good that you downloaded them. And also remember, um, Zenny, in my video. I showed the videos that she has. I showed all of the, the Google Docs that she had. I showed them there. Why? Because I had a feeling all of this was going to happen. I had a feeling that things were going to get deleted. But right now, we're just chilling and chatting a little bit. Uh, Kate, if there's no big updates on Luca, there might not be much to say. The only thing that there is to say, really, for the most part, just getting on that. <clears throat> Real quick, shouldn't even be that much. Right here. Right here. This. She got... It got removed. Not removed. It got blocked from other people seeing it. Or modifying it. Or anything like that. It was not marked as suspicious. And it was marked from harassment, bullying, and threat, threat policy. That's what it was marked as. So that's what was going on. She did not take it down herself. The fans took it down. So that's, you know, that's pretty much the, the, the gist of what's been going on. And we can talk about it later if you guys want. But yeah, right now, also... We have her doing the Nessie finals right now. We have Doki Bird doing Nessie finals. Right now she's in a group with Legendary Doll and Stay Naughty C9. Interesting names. Interesting names. Holy crap, you had chicken cardon blue? I have never I don't think I don't think I've ever even tried chicken cardon blue. 
Mass dirty deleting. Yes, yes, it is dirty what they're doing. It's definitely dirty what they're doing. The internet mobs are terrifying. They absolutely are. I eat Bangalore we can have her in the low portion, so it can kind of be like a background thing for us. But yeah, it is It is a kind of a dirty thing for them to... There's nothing illegal that she put there. There's nothing uh, like doxing that she put there. In fact, the only thing she put in there were like... Uh, look at Kaneshiro's old uh, uh, and possibly current Discord names. She put the the current. Never showed any photos. Never showed any pictures of actual people. Never showed locations. Never told about locations. So there's no reason that that it would have been harassment, bullying, or whatever when you're telling the truth. Uh, I guess they felt harassed by the truth. They felt harassed by someone actually saying something against them, and they felt harassed that way, which means that you know. They're kind of, uh, I can understand if someone's actually harassing you and like bugging you again and again and again and again and again, like, you know, putting uh, stuff about you, like directly mentioning you on Twitter, directly mentioning you and, you know, putting aggressive things against you directly on Twitter. Uh, that can be harassment. Absolutely. That can be construed as harassment, even on Twitter. And Twitter's very light about that kind of stuff. I never even, I have heard of chicken cord on blue, but I don't, I don't know about it. What if someone in AI filter could detect mass reports are motivated by corrupt things like this? Who knows? You'd actually, yeah, you'd actually have to have a train a bot on what mass bot reporting is versus just people actually being angry at something and actually being, you know, negative. You know, she's a married woman trying to take advantage of a young man that was pretending to she was working to use Luca Razio both turn. Uh, both of them, both of them were toxic to each other. It's kind of like you know, both of them were. I think they were codependent. Both of them are toxic to one another. Uh, that kind of toxicity doesn't work. Um, I have been the creator of that toxicity before, and I have been involved in that type of toxicity before. In my younger days, I'm not innocent in a lot of things. I have been, you know, not good in, in figuring things out, like interpersonal stuff. Like I mentioned last time, I have, I have the, the high functioning tism, and uh, it does affect me that way. But again, like I said yesterday, it is not a crutch. It is just another thing I have to deal with as a human being, just like everyone else has to deal with their own things. That's another thing I have to deal with. It's not a crutch. It's not something that prevents me from living life normally. All I have to do is put a little bit more work than the average person. But other than that, that's all I have to do. It's not, um, it's not like a full on disability. At least I don't see it that way. Uh, everyone should just see how dirty both are. Uh, but here's the thing. Yes. I think everyone sketch therapy accepts that there is some dirtiness going on. Everyone accepts that there is some uh, negativity on both sides going on. But uh, these are this is information that I'm glad that's out there. I'm glad that it was put out there. She put out the receipts, so it's less like she's trying to just be lie and lie and lie. So she put out the receipts. I'm glad they're out there because it's, it gives more insight into how Nidhi Sanji works and how that kind of stuff works. Still want to find images of his MMD? Yeah. Uh, the VR chat model. Yeah, I saw that, Zenny. It would be interesting to find that one. Uh, the only way we're possibly going to figure it out is if, if the uh, artist that did the Miku Miku Doga, the Miku Miku Dance, the Miku Miku Dance, the MMD, the Miku Miku Dance, if they do that one, if the artist that had it originally uh, shows it, then yes, that, that's fine. But who knows? Who knows about that? Both, yeah. Uh, an anonymity brings out the best and worst in the humans, yes. The worst I did was when younger is that I was a huge conservative. I mean, I, I, I will say this. This is as far as I'll go with any of that type of talk. Um, I respect both sides. I respect both sides. I disagree with both sides. Um, when it comes to the political spectrum, I agree with, I agree with some things on both sides. I respect some things on both sides. I disagree with a lot of things on both sides. It's just, you know. It is, it is what it is. Now it's almost polar opposite. It does happen. Growth is good. And I want to continue having personal growth. And here's the thing that's going to happen with me. You're going to notice this. You're going to hear about it. And, and that type of thing. I'm going to have times when I'm going to fall back. When I'm going to have a huge fall. And I'm going to like, I'm going to trip back and fall like 500 feet down the well. And back into my old ways. It'll happen. Humans do that. But one thing I can promise you. As a community. I will continue to try to grow. I will continue to try to try to um, improve, and I will continue to try to be the best that I can for you guys and anyone else who wants to watch me.
<laughs> it must be 4 or 5 a.m. for you? No, no, no. For me, for me, no. For me, it's, um... Uh, let's see, mother one, I got needy drama exhaustion. Need to, I need needy to stop causing drama and chaos. That's why I'm giving you these types of things, because I don't want to be... I realized recently, and I was told recently by friends. Um, I was told by friends. People, like I said, I told you guys last night. I don't like having yes men around me. It's fine to have one that's probably like, you know, cool and all that kind of stuff. But I also like people who call out, call me out on my shit. So yesterday, I got called out on my shit by by friends, by people I consider close friends. They're like, dude, you're focusing too much on Niji Sanji. You're doing too much of this shit. It's getting tiring. I'm getting tired of watching you do this. Your fans are probably going to get tired of watching you do this. Give them something else. Give them something interesting. Give them something just to distract. Because if they want to look at the needy stuff, they're going to find it. They're going to you're going to watch your videos. But your streams need to be something a little bit different. Unless there's big news, don't go back to it. Unless there's huge news, like today, the Luca thing. I just quickly touched on it, and then we moved on. And I thought, and I was like, at first, of course, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. At first, I was, I was kind of defensive. As that's a natural reaction to a lot of things that happen. I'm glad, Ghost. I'm glad you're here to yell at my ass. Sketch therapy the same way he yells at my ass. Uh, disrespect both sides more often than not, but I get your point. Why I need to know is I did an MMD model edit, and they use it for VR chat, so I want to know if it's my model edit. Oh, okay. That's why you want to know. That's why you're interested in it. I, I understand that, Zenny. I'll do what I can to see if I can find it, but I, I'll let you know if I do. I'll absolutely let you know if I do, but I'm not sure. Like it, it would. We would have to see. It's not getting tired because that S keeps worsening. Yeah, it does keep worsening. But I'm going to try my best to push through the Nidhi Sandy stuff and skim through it with, you know, my, my take and all that kind of stuff, but not spend four, five, six hours on it. Just, you know, spend a little bit of time on it and then, you know, make a video on it so you guys can get it, the condensed version, and uh, spend most of my time like what doki bird's doing like doki bird she could she could have gotten into the drama she could have kept her dra the drama thing going but she didn't want to be drama at all she wanted to just have fun enjoy herself now that she's free from the niji sanji prison from all that torture that they put her through all that damage that they did to her she's free of it and what is she doing now she's in this one she's going to be in the scara or scars whatever tournament on the 5th of of april you know she's doing her thing she's growing she's being an immensely amazing vtuber out there maybe got some positive news for a while would be better uh, yeah i mean that's why like i switched i don't know if you guys noticed i hope you did i switched big time between from just needy sanji news to vtuber news you know needy sanji's involved in it because needy sanji's a large vtuber agency but i'll talk about no, hollow life stuff God. ah and i'll do push-ups yes loki you're back no. No, yes, she's sponsored no, by gamer subs. Yes, she is. No, no, God, please, no, no, no God, no, no, God, please, no, no, no. I hydrated before I'm gonna be doing the the, no! <clears throat> the nine push-ups. I have to do nine push-ups. Oh, Toki's amazing. Honestly, look, I said this. Oh, that goes blue milk. No, I'm gonna wait till all this is done. But no, no. God. There we go. No! No! God, please! No. There we go. We're at 15 no. now. 18. No. There we are. Um. No! God, please! No! no. What I want to say about Doki no. is what I said before, and I'm not no. making this about me. I'm making this about how strong she is. She is much stronger than I would. I would have been in that situation. I would have been torn down. I'm. I've been dealing with a lot less than she's been dealing with, and I feel torn down. So. For her to be, I mean, yes, she had the attempts, but I don't blame her for that at all. I've been in that dark spot before. I have had those thoughts before. And it is scary. It is dangerous. It is scary. It is, you don't feel like yourself. It's not a fun place to be. And she, we, of course, focusing on her, she got through it. Because she has an amazing group of, of friends around her. She has amazing fans that support her. She got through that. She is doing, look at this. She's doing her best. She's showing... You know, you know, putting her best foot forward. She's showing this stuff to you guys. The release documents are evidence. Nothing was from person claim. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, uh, sketch therapy, at the very least, she showed uh, proof. She showed receipts. If she was just speaking, then no one would respect anything she said. So she showed receipts. 
And yes, it is all timed. And yes, it was all done for a specific reason, which was now that people don't like Nidhi Sanji, and now that people aren't sucking on the teat of Nidhi Sanji, she feels that her words will actually be heard, which makes sense. And even then, even with the with with you know Nidhi Sanji being disliked, she's she's had really bad threats against her. She's had really bad uh, negative things done to her. She has people who really, really, really hate her guts. You know, that type of stuff. So she still has to deal with that. Even when Nidhi Sanji isn't the best right now. You know? Oh, yeah. The Razor sent her computer stuff. Sent her a bunch of computer stuff. That's six, six push-up stuff. Yes, six push-up things. Um, I, try, I, I do my best. And I appreciate you guys giving me the support that you always do. The reason why I'm sounding a little bit different is because I'm actually going to go and do my push-ups. Yay! 18. One. Two, three, four. I'm gonna do it slower, cause five, cause that's the right way to do it. Six, seven, eight, nine push-ups. Ten push-ups. No, God, please no. Eleven push-ups. No. Twelve push-ups. No. Thirteen push-ups. That's twenty-one that I have to do. Fourteen push-ups. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, oh boy, my arms are tired already, holy crap, 20, 21, those last two, holy crap, man, those last two kind of hurt, ah. those last two hurt, my god, my guy, it hurt, you can hear the pants, I, ha I, I took off my pants to uh, to do push-ups because that's the only way you can do push-ups. You can only do push-ups stretch. Remember, remember, children, the only way you can officially do push-ups is if you're naked. You can only do push-ups naked. The threat of backlash can keep people from coming out in stories and abuse. Yes, and that's what happened with her. That's what happens with every single Nidhi Sanji liver. The Nidhi Sanji livers who've left, they're, they're, you can tell they've been scared. They've been made to think that they can't do anything without Nidhi Sanji. They may be made to think that they are nothing without Nidhi Sanji. Like if, if they don't have Nidhi Sanji, they, 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 don't, they don't have anything. That is not good. It's not good to ever feel that way. But they are made to feel that way. Um, oh, the pants. I was like, I took, I was like, yes, I did, I, I did do push-ups naked, but um, you're hearing my panting. You were hearing my panting. Okay. Sounds cakey to you. <laughs> it probably is. Who knows? Uh, she could have thought that before. Yeah. I mean, uh, Sketch, we don't know. That's also another allegation. We don't know if there was any cheating involved. Uh, according to her, on her end, she specifically put puts boundaries saying that she did not want any kind of relationship with him. Yes, there might have been some codependency in the friendship type of situation, but you can chat and talk and things like that with, with people and, you know hang around a lot without actually like physically cheating or even emotionally cheating i mean some people may think that friendships like that are emotionally cheating but men and women can have friendships without any kind of uh uh, uh you know that kind of stuff going on like my mom has male friends my dad has female friends that he's had since he, like since before he got married but my mom and dad are are 100 percent loyal to each other and they've never cheated on they, I mean, they haven't cheated on each other so that's one thing that can happen, and it's one thing that I understand. <laughs> All right, see you soon, Tree Ter Ter Man. I mean, that is an advantage of being a VTuber. I can be naked while I'm doing this. Stonks. Yeah. That's the thing right now, like, sketch. It could very well come out within like a week or two, Sketch Therapy, that she is cheating, that she did cheat, that she did do these things. But from the information we have now, that she showed, because she showed everything, she showed things that could even make her look bad. And that's why, you know, it needs a little bit more credence. Yes, yeah, she messed up. She was maybe a little bit too parasocial, I guess you would call it, in the sense of she was a she was codependent in the in the in the friendship. Ah. If you can find me that source, I will look it up, because I I think 
What she said ended her marriage was that the emotional state that she was put in with all the stuff that Luca was doing, in the sense of um, the gaslighting, all that kind of stuff, it, it led, led to her not focusing on her husband. It led to her not doing good things in that sense. And um, made it so that, yes, she the marriages don't work out. Because if you don't have communication, if you don't put any kind of... Oh, dear Lordy, what, what did I do? If you don't put any type of... Um, like work into the relationship if you don't talk to each other if you don't you know because you're feeling depressed or whatever you don't cuddle you don't you spend more time with a friend that type of thing then yes the husband could feel like they're not being appreciated like they're not a part of the relationship anymore like they they why are they even there anymore and then that could split the relationship it may not be cheating but still there are ways where you could prioritize a friendship that could make any husband wife partner feel like they are being undervalued and that they they just don't want to be in that relationship anymore and that may very well be what happened to her that's what i think happened to her she valued the friendship with java and luca too highly that she didn't pay attention to her husband as much anymore and that made it so that she you know the husband felt undervalued and probably left at that point later maddie wait maddie before you go before you go let's watch what you what you put here before you go let's watch what you put here why they put music in porn? I'm trying to bust a nut, not bust a move. Oh god, that's that's cursed. Okay. Now now you can go. Now you have my permission to go, Maddie. <laughs> the all natural squirrel, yes. Um Honestly, some guys get really freaking weird, even when your girl already got a partner and made it very clear they won't only be you want to only be their friends. Yes, there are some people that are like that. Um like guys are like that. Like Especially I'll just I'll just be honest with you. When I was like 17, 18, I would catch feelings very fast. Uh, if, a, if, a, <laughs> if a woman smiled in my direction, <laughs> it was almost like if a woman smiled in my direction, a woman was kind to me, I thought they liked me. That was stupid. That was like in my, in my high school days. That was like dumb. But I will admit I had that. Because it's like, here's the thing that happens as a guy. This is just my experience. And this is just me talking, at, talking to you guys. While we watch Doki Bird do her thing, um, we, as a guys, a lot, a lot of us at least, we have less, um, like not happiness, less stuff, to uh, less closeness, less like a hey, friendships, like really close and that kind of stuff, compared to women, because it's more socially and culturally acceptable in most places for women to have that close knit, you know, type of relationship. Guys are like, eh, hey, we'll talk to you sometimes. We'll talk to you maybe here or there. That kind of thing. But overall, it's not very, very well uh, respected to be that way. So a lot of times when guys are see are shown any type of affection, any type of positivity, then yes, they will they will push towards that way. And I did that before um, when I was younger. You know, I don't want to made a VTuber model, my r robot that I kept for a long time, but I didn't want to spend money. I didn't need advice, but I just needed an idea I had. Oh, yeah. I don't trust either of them. They're doing... Yeah, I mean, I, I just I just look at the information as it is, and I, I react to it as it is. I'm not putting any kind of moral or ethical um, response to any of this stuff, because it's not my place to do that. I'm not doing any like moral, moral, ethical, like dilemma type of thing where it's, it's bad or not. Or I'm not judging anybody. It's just the way it is. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. What if Luca wants out of this all fake drama and leaks are a way to get terminated? It could be. It could be. I mean, but the leaker himself said that there's a lot of people who leak stuff and they never get terminated and they never get like anything negative done against them. I don't trust human animals or things that I ever have. Don't keep playing good for real for real. I mean, Loki, you know, I used to catch feelings a lot before. Uh, I don't do that now, though. Because it's it, you become you become a pest. If you do that, you become a pest. And I don't want to be a pest. I want to be cool with people. Doki does look. Doki is way better at this game than I am. Honestly, Doki is way better at this game than I am. But what we're going to do... Is we're gonna continue just just going with the chibi doki right now. Fine, because they're just animals. They're just living. Just people do not realize how scary bears are. They're very intimidating, and you should not treat them like they're like all. Oh, they are not teddy bears. This is pure danger. Look at this. He's a threat to society. First the water bottle, next your infant. See 
he the drank it. Is he's looking for another victim. Oh, he's going back. Why not friend? They found the victim. It cut off because he killed the cameraman. Look, ah, he killed him. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> <after me. laughs> Sexy. Is he jacking off? <laughs> oh, I think he thought it was. <laughs> Sexy. He's a degenerate. Here. Yes. You just hear. <laughs> I joke. Every time I see an airplane, I'm like, ah! Okay, we're chill. We're chill. What the, what the hell was that? that? When you argue with that, the one, hell was that? Always right. <laughs> Wait, they put two tags for credit, and all they did was add text at the bottom of the clip. You really think people are gonna watch this and be like, oh, dude, I gotta check this guy out. He's really good at making memes. Oh, but I'm pretty sure some child somewhere did it. <laughs> did you see that? Okay, good job. They credited the artist. Why are they kissing with their mouths open? Are you supposed to do that? That's a French kiss? Wait, what? I thought kissing is a... No. Ah! And you can use your tongue no. to it with the other person? Ew! Oh. You know most men don't brush their tongue. I'm gonna be tasting the freaking mobster energy drink that's been sitting in there. Oh, God, no. Ah! About time you got a job, B. Order up, order up. <laughs> Loaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cute! Yeah. Or a window patty. Oh, Claire! <laughs> Dude, you should have, instead of doing hamburgers, you should have done tier one subs. And this is how it ends. What is this? <laughs> that one was really good. <laughs> 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 yeah, these are good. <laughs> 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 these are so accurate. I think this meme is better muted. <laughs> this meme is way better muted. <laughs> you would never see that coming. Oh, you can't do, you can't do. Oh. You're mine, eh? <laughs> Okay, that's funny. You look fine. Come on. Bombs on his way. Just don't. I swear. Anytime anything flies, if there is a building inbound, we're done. Please don't be edgy. I swear, please. <laughs> <laughs> the farce it is. Oh no. We got the cake. We got the cake. Should I do it again. On his way. <laughs> what everyone wanted to see. Godzilla got cake. Godzilla got the whole damn bakery right there. Holy crap. <laughs> Godzilla got the whole damn bakery right there. You are allowed to have ethical mortal opinion. You're human. It's your right to judge. Thank you, Sketch Therapy. Lol, if you ever play Apex, you don't want 1v1. I mean, in case I'm... No, I, I suck at Apex. I really am bad at Apex. Anytime I've been anywhere within the top 10 is because I've been carried at Apex. Honestly. Though, like, there have been a couple of times when I've just survived because I've just gotten super lucky. And then I've revived my teammates. And I've given them everything I have because I know that they're going to be doing way better than me. I do that a lot. I do that a lot. It's not a cake, it's a whole goddamn bakery! It's an industrial size one! Look at that, look at that cake, man. Do you think anyone saw that retweet? Should I do the again? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's hear it! Ha 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 ha! I just said Godzilla. Godzilla. Monkey's reference in Breaking Bad? <laughs> Oh yeah, god, this no. It's not gonna go well with chat. Chat's not gonna like that one. I like to pretend to be silly. If I'm like One Piece is mid, the One Piece Phantom wants to kill me. It's not a secret Donkey Rapunzel! So. This is like how they fix my scoliosis. <gasps> Woo! He looks like a map body's like, you want map? He does. <laughs> Jesse, stop punching my balls! I can't, Mr. White, it feels good, bitch! Jesse! 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 Suck these nuts. <laughs> Alright, then, show off your gun before we go to buy another. I wanna see how human guns look like a person. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? I love this video. What the frick? Ah, Crow the Bill! I really like that the hair just appears early and then disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> for the last 30 seconds, you're like, nah, I don't want to edit anymore. You didn't even put me in it. Literally, this is your last edit. That's what you ended on. And then for the rest of the video, it's just not. Oh, I saw Chipman. Oh, that's at the start, Norman. That was cute, though. I like the music a lot. What is this? Michael! Don't leave me here! Michael! 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 <laughs> That's a good one, though. Wait, I didn't even, yeah. I didn't even notice the. I didn't, I didn't even notice it was in his mouth. <laughs> Sexy. Hey, yo. Oh, uh, who is it? Who is it that is is all about um? Who is it that likes Bowser a lot? Is it? No, it's not. It's not Tenma. Was it? No, Chibi Doki was the one. Yeah, it was Chibi Doki. It was Chibi Doki who likes Bowser a lot. Like is all up for all up on Bowser's nuts, or at least that's that's the, what the you know that's what the community says. God's gil Godzilla giving Sea Dog VA a competition. <laughs> okay, off topic, but Genshin got too much dialogue and exposition. Caption this video of Chibi. This better be freaking nice, dude. So you know what? I really have hopes for you, man. This better get better. 
I thought kiwis were extinct. Are they real? I thought they were fictional. Hold on. No, no, no. Kiwis are real. What the frick? Expect the secret really get bad though. We're gonna look at uh Tip of Defense Modern Art. Oh god. Let's go to the Holocaust Museum. I think I really don't like what? museums. I'm not gonna lie to you. What if they have Wait, really cool? Yeah, I don't like museums or like art. Kiwi is a browser lover, yes. I don't think those are kinda what? gay. What? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Art. They don't the have art awesome art. Like, show me fucking anime titties on the wall and I'll go. Right? Like, okay, listen, you guys are so, like, really? brain rotten by saying, like, art online that you can't appreciate when you see, like, physical art in person. Like, the, the, the oh, layers and the, the shadows the and, like, the other colors. <laughs> Freaking A, I've been to Florence. Florence, Italy. I've been to Pompeii. I've seen the art in Florence as well. Oh, man, the, the, the freaking, uh, Florence art is good. I mean, that's what Florence is all about, of course. Florence is all about art. But yeah, the art in Florence is pretty damn good. Um, It's very fun to to go to places like that. Look at art, the Louvre, all that type of place. The egg size. Kiwis have it rough. I mean, they have it rough just because they don't have wings or arms or anything like that. They just freaking are like, like a, a pair. They're a pair with legs. You know, freaking look. I'll show you. Kiwi. Kiwi. Animal. Pear. Kiwis are pears with eggs. Look at this. The legs. Look at a kiwi and look at a pear. Look at a kiwi and look at a pear. Kiwis are pears with legs. Change my mind. There. That, I said it. I said it. I said what everybody was thinking. Kiwis are pears with legs. Change my mind. <laughs> Dude, people will literally just like splatter a speck of paint on a canvas and it's say that it means something. Art. Yeah. Well, well, some of them, but it's still like in person, right? When you see like the grandiosity of like the scale and stuff, like, it's like yeah, it would be like splatter art, but it's like like eight feet tall. They do kind of look like kiwi fruits, yes, because the hairiness. And you're okay. It, and you're like, wow. Like I'm just gonna like, say this, cool but like, uh, I just cool want to say, cool too. artists like that are like real artists, as you might call them, Pippa. Uh, they're fart sniffers. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't even know like, there was. Like it's, there all it's all in my I had no idea. The girl who met Remy literally... only with period blood and masturbated. Okay. <gasps> what? I'm saying like a lot of like abstract art. You know, like you have to like, be there. Who said that? Stop. Stop. Who did that? You want us in the video? Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys haven't seen this before? No. I've never fucking heard of this. Was it Chef Boyardee or like regular raviolis? It kind of just hates. Or, you know, it might have been spaghettios. It makes me hate artists even more, actually. I'm you ready for a Star Citizen when we get a play? I have an account for you. Ooh. But there's also. I like, wonder if I could like, run it on a PC. PC. Like, yeah, oh, I mean, stupid, yeah, we can do that. We can definitely yeah, look at Star Citizen, even if I get like two views. I don't care. Chicago, the big bean. Skill <laughs> yeah. issue. Really? I've cool. never seen a bean. Wait, hold on. Don't don't say anything. Don't don't say anything. Pippa, I'm gonna show you a piece of art in Chicago. Okay. And it, it's kind of like what you're describing, like um, really the grandiosity of it, and just like being there and thinking, wow. But you you tell me, what what do you think of this? What do you think of this art piece? This video bubbling is so awkward. There's like a creepy crowd. What's up, Kebab? Watching her open a can. <laughs> I would say, I would say this is pretty cool. Like when you think about like the materials and stuff that must have went into this, and like, uh, like. I think that's actually pretty cool. Like like pretty I do think that's pretty oh, cool. Think that's just, like, it gives it like a new perspective. It's made, it's, made, it's made by the artist Amish, Amish Kapoor, and he is he's a fart sniffer. He's a fart. Sniffer. He's like probably one of the biggest dickheads you'll ever meet in your life. He tried to yeah. make oh. the blackest black paint, and nobody was allowed to use it. Wow. Like, yeah. Imagine, Imagine like having been Fortnite. This is like as like as an experience, right? Like if you walk up to that and like you see like a warped per, like reflection and stuff, and like you you like it's like it's cool looking, right? Like it's a it's a it's a cool looking like uh, out of place thing. Okay. I think it's like a cool structure, but it's it kind of looks like a bean. I, I mean, it does look like a bean. Like, I think it is because hmm. I think it, I think a lot of people do consider it the bean. The he really doesn't like that. He doesn't like when people call it what? The bean. the bean. Yeah, he gets really mad about that. It's the freaking bean, man. It's a freaking bean. It's called and he gets really mad. Or no, no, cloud gate. It's called cloud gate, and people get really mad when they call it the bean. Flick That's the bean, bean, man. Just flick That's the bean. Sam. It's a bean. Yeah, People bean. like him really make me hate real artists like that, though. No, I, I can understand I that part. I, can. no. I can't ever see your perspective. So let me know when you want to play, then I have to tie the account to your email. Just, really okay, like okay. Mirror, Wait, yeah. Are you watching it? She's sticking her hand inside. You want me to watch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Based on Koma's reaction, someone no, making oh, on Chef Boyardee with period blood is seconds. not something I want to see. Okay, why is it on YouTube? It's not art. Oh, there's a lot of like it's art. nudity that is not it's sexual art. on YouTube. This is so yep. weird. She's digging in her cooch. <laughs> I thought that guy next to her was going to take off his pants. Yo, she's taking her shirt off. Wait a minute. Let's go. Did he say skip to four minutes? Yeah, four minutes and like 10 seconds. Okay. She's she like, got... cut her pants open with some scissors. And then, like, really? Interesting. Oh, she is. 
Oh, yeah, it's pretty important. He's quite literally oh, yeah, digging in her cooch. Oh, my God. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Flick the bean. This is fucking foul. I mean, ah, no way. put some like oh, field oh, goal no type things at the this other end and sick. flick the bean and try to put it in the field goal. That's what I mean. I'm gonna vomit. You guys are dirty. It made me feel like fucking yakking, like actually. So what do you guys think it means? Yeah, she's a retard. I hate her. I don't. Oh my god. It's so... <laughs> Spaceship hiding is a bean, it's yes. So... Oh. Oh, Pipkin Pippa. <laughs> what have you done? I hate this tangent. I hate it. I hate it. She hates it. She hates it. Did she put that well, up her. Yep. They're, they're expired yep. spaghetti. to be yep. specific. Yeah, it was like black goo. It was disgusting. We're the ones making. Yep, yes. It, We're the it? ones making dirty jokes. Oh, I thought, of course I thought Reddit we are. Right about it. Oh. Interior Semiotics did not deserve the hate it got. Natasha Stoll's 2010 performance art piece, Interior Semiotics, got a lot of outrage online for graphic and unusual content, which included her urinating, shoving dirt in her vagina, oh God. and laboriously opening a can of SpaghettiOs. Interior Semiotics have become a poster child for people to decry modern and conceptual art as obscurantist drivel devoid of merit. I think this moralistic pearl collecting from people who can't accept the idea of art as something easily classifiable and cannot stomach the idea of a woman engaging in the level of obscenity men are allowed in art. Interior Semiotics Wait, sets people no, I've like never stuck anything in my crotch. Full of people for doing art that isn't regularly allowed in society. It allows us to perceive the community as an other. Degenerate you know, with no artistic values. Hating interior semiotics allowed the online community to show their bona fide as someone who has not deceived by modern who is not deceived by modern art and lets them say appreciate they appreciate Pippa. true art. It aligns very Pippa, Pippa. Hi. <laughs> I would what the fuck be just as about, uncomfortable bro? if somebody put spaghettios up their penis. I I don't understand what they're trying to say. If somebody shoves spaghettios yeah, I think, up I their think urethra, anybody would be uncomfortable with that. It would be just as weird. It's not a woman thing. It's just gross. She's not <laughs> saying anything. It's just gross. It's weird. It's weird. I hate art. I hate art. It's so stupid. <laughs> Oh god, it's always the pre-debut VTubers. Of course, that's uh, Isaiah Richan, yes. I watched 10 much streams naked. Don't like it? Your mama. Stop looking, I'm naked and shy. I... What? I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some, uh... Uh, I'm gonna get some really, really, really hot salsa and let's see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll have you guys watch this. Um, this, this, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Why are you watching my stream naked? Hold on a second. I have questions. Wait, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I see. What a coincidence. I'm also shy, Nick. Super shy, Nick. I'm in the butt side. Get back. What? Like, what, 10 <laughs> seconds or something? I'm also in the butt side. Freaking... Oh, it's a whole party. Two it's a whole party. Two guys, the butt side. Five feet apart because they're not gay. There's a lot of coincidences going around here, like... It's, it's starting to be a bit suspicious. Like, a lot of y'all are starting to give me the same excuse. What a coincidence. I'm also the oh, what a coincidence. Me too. I'm in the bot up. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah. I found the uh, model you made. Just need to find the VR chat image of the locked MMD model, and it's going to drive me nuts. Yeah, I hope you do find it soon. I I, I, I copied your thingy kebab just to take a look. That, that kind of sounds weird, but yeah, there we are. Blah, 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 swimming in the sea. <laughs> I'm not shy, no naked, but I can change that fast. No. Don't you fucking dare. Wait a <laughs> second. I thought we were supposed to watch it. No. Put your clothes back <laughs> on. Oh, no, 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 no. The question would be, who is not naked here? Why would we wear clothes while watching me, Chan? Okay, I don't call for him. I... <laughs> Beefy. Everyone get naked so she can't leave. Oh, God. Why? Put Why? Put shirt back on. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so, so, okay, the shirt back on, but not the pants. I just got here. I just got to PC like two months ago. Sitting all over What's going on here? Again? Uh, I'm not bad at reading zones. I'm not horrible at it. Okay, but like, if you had to, what is your position in your team? Oh, I, I, I thought she was asking about some other positions. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> the one on, the one on controller. I play, I play Bloodhound. <laughs> all right. Are y'all both on MMA? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Of course, I'm just a content creator. I here. haven't shot. I haven't shot my. <laughs> like, like asking, what's your favorite position in a sports team? What the fuck, bro? 
Started watching Tenma. I think she's nuts and I love it. Yeah, I love that. I love when they're nuts like that. I love unhinged VTubers. I love that. I am unhinged. I've been controlling my unhingedness quite a bit. Because it scares people. You guys know, when I get my little unhinged rants, it can scare people. What the heck happened here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Nizi sisters are coming from my internet. They're coming from my internet. What's happening? They're coming from my internet. Frick. Let me see what's going on here. It's not even that much. They have a hacker. There's a hacker. Oh, yeah. About the hacker. Let's talk about that for a little bit. Then, um... You know the big Apex tournament? I forgot the recent one. The really big recent Apex tournament? Someone, somehow, ALGS, I think it was called, or something like that. Yeah. The dude got in. And hacked. I think it was two of the highest level players hacked them and made it so they had aim bots and other things like that trying to get them canceled of course uh there is ethical hacking there is ethical hacking so that is a thing so what i believe this is it twelve you're gonna you're gonna frag out here you've like that is definitely a thing but this guy was not doing ethical hacking this guy was actually just messing around and trying to get big league players, like actual league players, banned from the game. Now, as far as I know, they at least haven't publicly said how he did it, how the person did it, how they went through with it. They haven't mentioned how they did it. What we know now, just what we know, all that we know is that it was done. That's it. That's all we know. Yeah, he gave other people wall hacks, aim hacks, really serious stuff where you would see them like in the recordings. Was like, dude, I'm not hacking. I'm not hacking. He's like, then get out, get out of the game, get out of the game. And he would post on every single one of them a chat saying, "You have just been hacked by blah blah blah. You have just been hacked by blah blah blah." So they they were recording. Luckily, they saved that recording, and they showed the judges. Look, this guy's saying that he hacked me. And, and then this, all this stuff started happening. So, yeah. They're gonna... Of course, not gonna like that. And uh, we don't know. We, As far as I know, we don't know yet how the hell he got through that. I'm trying to talk. To forget about how freaking spicy this fucking thing is. Wait, are you actually still here? Well... What if the Needy Sisters team up like the move the bad guys with one of them as a hacker? I wonder. I mean, I, I'm sure they would love to hack like Doki Bird stream. They would love to hack like other people's streams. I'm pretty sure. Oh, what's this one? Oh, you wouldn't believe what Kapoor's gone and done now. We've waited years and years to see what he's going to do with the exclusive rights to Van to Black. And yeah. he's just unveiled his new series of work at the Venice Biennale. And here's what he's made. Oh, no, it's not. That's something I made a few months ago. Here's the one that he made. Can you see the similarity? Not only has he mugged off my work, but he's banging on again about how, because he's rich and famous and privileged, he should have rights to own and dominate this material, this Vanta Black stuff. And I woke up this morning to this, and it wasn't just this, it's all over the national newspapers, and it's basically Kapoor using my name again to draw attention for his work, that we've all been able to make for years and years and years. I mean, let's call a spade a spade. The dude's been grinching the colors, hoarding them, and claiming that it's all right because he's rich and famous, he should have the rights to use them. When we've all had Black 3 for ages, and we can all make work. Hi, Tabak, gonna agree with you, right, Johan? Should be for everybody. Welcome, Johan. Says here, uh, it was a controversy that Kapoor seemed to delight Fritos. in stoking. Absolutely, can't you just let it rest, mate? It's been a couple of years, we've all moved on, and you're still banging on about it. It's time that this finishes. And then it, here it says, uh, up yours sample. So that's not very nice, is it? So if it's a war you want, it's a war you're going to get. But we're going to take the high ground here. 
Anything you can do, we can and already do do better. So what I've decided is I've made a replica of one of Kapoor's artworks from the Biennale and I've called mine Biennale in a Box and anyone from any walk of life anywhere in the world can buy a replica of his work unless you're Anish Kapoor. You have to agree you're not Anish Kapoor and you're not going to share the work with Anish Kapoor. So you can click through and get that now from my website as long as you're not Anish Kapoor or if you like and you're already making extraordinary things with Black 3 please join in, send a sign of solidarity to us by painting a black cube or a black object, nice. posting it on social media, and use the hashtag ShareTheBlack and hashtag Venice Biennale, and hopefully the dude will get the message that this just needs to stop. Anyway, I'll see you later. Thanks for the support. Bye. This was done a year ago, so I'm guessing that things were, were kind of there. Oh, is there another pronunciation thing? Oh, why is there mighty Biju master of pronunciation? Would you please do us the honor of enlightening us to the correct pronunciation of... I don't know that word. Is it safe? Is this a trick? Is this a trap? Oh! Dear Lordy. Oh, I see you know the rules. And so do I. <laughs> <clears throat> so how do you spell the name of the sisters i want to make me mmd models and do the meme like them knocking on your door i just call them needy sisters that's all i call it i just call it we more strangers to love yep <laughs> we're no strangers to love yep here's the link again let's take a look at it we're no strangers to love you know the rules, and so do I. We got that one, yes. Just for that, just for that, I'm going to freaking uh, get copyright struck, I bet you. Like, I don't doubt it. Oh, I bid farewell to my beautiful land, and as mustered and ordered before you I stand. To march off to war and to die if I must And to fight like a bastard in this you must trust As, as the years pass And this Kapoor can get covered in bands of black tar and feathers for all you care, exactly and to Eating Fritos with salsa It's the weirdest thing the Eating Fritos with salsa to me. Just, just as long as my fans and is finally free just as long as old fans and will remember Tomorrow is Domingo de Resurrección. Yeah, it is Domingo de Resurrección, yes, for, for Holy Week. It's holidays, so you can skip news coverage and just have fun. Depending on if there's actual news to put, I'm at the very least going to be putting it in video form. For all of our orders are morally great. I fear not the low fair what happens to me as long as Car Car karaoke night soon De definitely have to do that i'm gonna have to um darn i keep forgetting i'm gonna make like a a section where you guys can give me karaoke recommendations not necessarily that i'll play them but they're recommendations that's what recommendations are for and youtube is telling me i'm getting too close to the sun Mission fail we'll get her next time. You have to try harder. I'm always girls at convention soon. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. I I would love to do a meet and greet someday. I would love to meet you guys at SawCon. These nuts. Try again. <laughs> the is just these nuts backwards. Try again. Do you know the second evolution for Rhyhorn Bebo? Ride on these nuts. Got him! Try better. <laughs> Try better. I know all of the easy ones. Hey, hey, from South DLC people, if you're listening, I would really appreciate it if you made Rani a summon so she could fight with me. I feel like that would be the coolest thing ever. And it that would actually be pretty cool. Buy the DLC more. I think it would be so cool. So I'm just saying, maybe make my wife a DLC summon would be pretty great. Does that make Rani I lay I lay these nuts on your face? That's <laughs> easy. You can't use the obvious. Mercy, you too. I keep telling you. Does 
granny listen to Imagine Dragons? Imagine Dragons <laughs> beats nuts on your face again! Again! I warned you! I warned you! See if these... See if these nuts are on your face! Dang it! I know it! I know them all! Dang it! How will I deal with the dragon? What dragon? Dragon these nuts? And your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the Nintendo Direct? Do you think you'll ask for perms for holding both of these nuts in your mouth? <laughs> nice try, Timmy. Timmy, Timmy. Thanks for the pink super. No problem. Nice try. Hey, Bebu, I know you don't usually like horror games, but have you heard of Room 40 D's nuts? Room for D's nuts? Yes, I have. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Bebo, I remember you mentioned How are you? I'm doing well, Revnet. Thank you for being here. Do you Thank you for supporting with the membership, too. The hidden mini boss of the Goblin Camp, the Mind Goblin D's nuts. Easy. <laughs> Thank you for Jot being the best, Bebo. Have you heard of Hava? Have a nice day. Are you sure it's not Hava both these nuts in your mouth? Are you sure it's Have a nice day? Are you sure? <laughs> Bebo, how do you manage to know them all? It's because I studied in preparation for the defense you know to become a whole live you know member you are in constant she does have pretty good defense on that doing so okay thank you thank you thank you Revenant. of these nuts to make sure i could never get these nutted i studied the doing okay man. i studied for it and look it worked because i'm impenetrable yeah I forget that you can see what I'm doing now because we have both on live 2 Yeah, of course. <laughs> people are people like are typing the face. The white face? The the, the 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 smile. The white smile face. Oh, that's called colon D. Oh, colon D? Colon D's oh, nuts! Oh. <laughs> uh colon D. I say it, it's Nah, face. Nah, Wait, face. You know these nuts are? Nice and what? shiny link, I see it. Do you know, do you know these nuts? I just knew that because of Risu Senpai say that a lot of times. <laughs> uh, but, but another another crazy squirrel. It, like the... It's okay, you don't need to know. Babu, why do you think people... What do you think about people saying milady unironically in 2023? You mean milady's nuts in your mouth? Yeah, I think that's a D's nuts joke. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's a D's. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Got him! If it's not, then uh, oops, my bad. <clears throat> Thank you. I can never be too. Oh yeah, we'll talk about the Luca thing. <laughs> hey, Bebo, have you played Metal Gear Rising: Revengeance? It's an action Metal Gear game where you play as a cyborg named Raiden D's nuts. Good try. And yes, I have played Revengeance before. Good try. Uh, AKV, thank you for the super. They give you a C because you still need to see these nuts. Nice try. Nice try. Fruit is looking good. Do you like fruit pudding? These nuts in your mouth? What even is oh my God. pudding? That yes. doesn't exist. Not really. Nice try. Hi, Bebo. Loved your Alice costume and the Halloween advent cover. But did you know your senpai are also getting new costumes? Are they? Are they? I, that's the first I've heard of it. Who's your favorite and why is it Gargoyle? Ah, that's a, that's a funny pun. <laughs> are, they? are they? Oh, they got her. They got her. Gargoyle D's nuts. Gargoyle D's nuts. And, uh... Ian Senpai because Jotum. it depends on like who is nice to me at the time and they're all nice to me. Jotum. So, like, Jotum. The, I've said this before, but Dang no! it! No! <laughs> she finally got it. I it. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> I will admit when I've gotten got and I've gotten got. Yeah, yeah, I'm gargling these nuts. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She tried so hard. Oh, now to... I know. Nice job. It took you guys almost three months to get me with one. 
I mean, yeah, it did take me three months. Let's go with the with the paste and go of what you had sent before. Ah, at this point. Look at that. Look at that on an urban mag. That's fantastic. What's oh, a supernova? Oh my god, I blew his head off. <laughs> AC20 applied directly to forehead. All right. That's a good go. voice. Remember, he has like that announcer voice. More than they hit us, we can have ourselves a crab salad. Nice. I hate that you've oh said god. words that are technically correct. Let's move. By the way, boys and girls, lasers go pew. Listen. Yeah, pew. Oh man, isn't that great? Oh, I'm in an oven back next, so I'll probably. Listen here, you're in an, an urban mech, the greatest and mightiest mech there ever was. You can have ago. fear in your heart, you have to have hate in your heart, and you have to forge it into a dagger that you stab into the eye of the enemy. Text, and you must the have things and yes. blood and gore in your teeth. His you voice makes you feel mech. things. You I can understand that. I can definitely understand that. Will you lead us, sir? He has that announcer voice. Listen, I've had some whiskey. And I'm willing, willing to fight in the... Look, let's just go forward before I lose this. And you're on a stream right now. I'm sorry. You're all semi-famous. Oh, fuck that stream. That's all I can hope for. All right, I'm ready to push. Are y'all gonna come in behind me? Balls deep, baby. You show me the way. I got cushion for the pushing. Let's go. Let's leave her squealing from the feeling, oinking from the boinking. Oh, Ladies God. and gentlemen, prepare to step into the squared circle, son, because you must expect unexpected in the kingdom of madness. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. He went Macho Man Randy Savage on their ass. Shoot that marauder because he's different from us. Today is the day you explode. Now everyone shoot India because he's a hunchback and I don't like it. Oh my god, I shot our Irby. He doesn't need to know that. He's gonna die a hero. He's gonna die a hero. We're gonna put him in a shallow grave and cover him with concrete. All right, here we go. Forward, forward to glory, lads. We've got them on the back foot. Shoot them in their dicks. Yeah. All right, boys, oh we got this. They believe in their god and I believe in it. Yes, Remnant, it's the same one. It's the same one. Same one who in the past tried to cancel him because Luca... Part yeah, yeah. Yeah, same one. Hate and fire. Praise Zorg, gentlemen. Praise Zorg. <laughs> Testing death, in case you get shadow banned. You haven't gotten shadow banned. As far as I can see, you haven't gotten shadow banned. People could really see things coming and get the jokes from a mile away. Unless, unless like Twitch shadow banned you for some reason. I don't chat. I don't ban people really. I don't shadow ban people really. Unless they really do like messed up stuff, then I then I shadow ban. But other than that, I don't shadow ban. Knows what he did. Welcome to the bad corner, fucko. <laughs> yeah, this dude's evil. Next, Lima, drop on him. Drop on him the elbow of justice. He dies last. He watched his friend. Over here, okay. <laughs> now, flex tape when you take a lot of something in the cockpit. Check, check this out. Check this out. Uh, <laughs> that is duct tape. <laughs> They actually are using duct tape to, to yeah, there you go. You got yeah, duct tape in case you got to take a lot of damage. Look, it's a spooky Halloween man. It's great. Look at that. Look at that on an urban mag. That's fantastic. Okay, that's that's where we were. Okay, that's where we were. All right. So we're going to go back to the VTuber clips because I mean, why not? Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Welcome in, everybody. Oh, my gosh. That that was awkward. That was definitely awkward. Um. Um. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh god! And then I got the part. I got the part too. Okay. Uh, she got. The, she. Uh oh. Uh oh. She got. The, she got the eyes. Again. Oh god! There we go. Listen. Listen, chat. Listen. It's too early. It's too early in this street for this much dick. <laughs> all right i'm i'm in a roller coaster of emotions right now all right i i had my off oh god myself. there we are i'm no longer down bad chat i'm no longer down bad i have i have cured myself all right i got it all out of my system mm -hmm. of course of mm -hmm. course you did of course you did don't ask me how that sounds really weird uh but yeah i'm not down bad anymore um it sounds really weird because no it dick. possibly could be emotional yeah it can be emotional damage yes if you have too much of uh 
whatever the heck is it, it is that she was trying to have. Yes, yes, you can have emotional damage. Yes. <laughs> ah, the collapse. What the hell? Why? 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 Why was that put out there? Well, that was put out there because I guess. Holy crap! Wait, what? I love man buns. What? Oh, guys, I have to tell you something that happened. I have a story. If you guys want to hear a story. <clears throat> Gotta be honest here. Which one out of the hollow EN is truly a menace to society? I'll place my bets on Bibu. Bibu and Shiori okay, probably. I'm, it's kind of like a Mocha S story. Okay, so the other day, I've been working really, really hard lately. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself a little bit. I'm going to get myself a massage. Yeah. I went and I shit you not. Okay, he is a beautiful specimen. Okay, I, I'm not even joking you. It was just a fact of life. Like anybody, any of y'all could appreciate. Okay, if he... He had like big fucking arms, um, tattoos. He was pretty hairy. He had like a man <laughs> bun and a beard. He had it going on. And so first things first, I'm like, okay, you know, it's just a massage. Like it's, you know, it, it is professional. Okay, Ellie, just don't think, don't think bad thoughts. Stop, stop Copium. sexualizing Copium. this man. He's Copium. just a person. Stop, you know, objectifying this is very very handsome lad okay stop it so i was like the first thing i did i'm like take a deep breath and i'm like okay it's fine it's fine it's fine i'm just getting a tattoo uh, not a tattoo a massage from this very very sexy tatted very muscly oh my god yeah she's going anyway, insane so she's I'm doing it on this <laughs> and i'm pretty i'm pretty comfortable right like i don't mind getting naked for this massage like i really don't care so because they're like yeah you know undress your comfort level whatever oh my god i'm actually blushing right now like <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness dude i was very composed and chill and and I, I i he was very handsome but i got over it very quickly okay i just logged in what did i walk into nothing nothing i'm not telling a sussy story all right so Never. i'm laying on this table naked and i have the sheet over me because it's a fucking massage guys let's take a moment to just remember <laughs> he this just focused on her boobs it's a Why? professional massage it's not like a sensual massage or anything like that okay no happy oh endings <laughs> Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm getting this massage and uh, this beautiful specimen of a man, like this, this fucking man. This, oh God, the way she's saying it, holy crap, man. In, okay, he's like, hmm. And I'm like, Ellie, stop. It could be Rebna. It could be uh, that she's trying to, you know, take just revenge. It could be one of those things. I mean, it's possible. Uh, I'm not going to discount that because it's definitely very he's possible. Telling my brain to stop doing what it's doing. I'm laying there. I'm ready for this massage, and he starts. The situation is messed up. Like, oh, it is messed up. Oh my overall. god, does it feel good? It feels so good. I'm laying there, Why? and I'm just like. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no! Thing ever. He's getting like arms in there. He's like using his like whole fucking body to do this massage. All right, it's like crazy. He's doing my back. He's doing my like neck. Um, he's doing like my everything <laughs> oh god and he's he just doing her like, i guess and i guess that he, he has to like move the sheet or whatever um and i was being a very good girl i wasn't i, <laughs> I can't tell the story i told tara right after i literally like called her on discord and i was like bitch you'll never guess what just happened to me okay but but listen heavy breathing of course that starts playing in the background okay okay first of all it's like one of the beautiful songs from like the lord of the rings and i was like i love this this is so nice and i was like ah. the music i shit you not the lyrics of the song were something like we are perfect strangers but we could fall in love today oh like, god no we don't know each other how about we fall in love today like literally that's what the song was and i was like laying there as this man was like massaging my ass okay i'm not kidding you he had my cheek yeah we can he do that Brittany. Cheek. we can do that and the song was like playing and i was fucking blushing and then okay so that was the first song and then the second song oh my god i guess the second song was also like quite i don't know there's something i can't remember the lyrics but it was like a love song okay and then all the songs after that the were, specific like, music like, that's playing holy crap not helping me to calm myself all right then he asked me to like flip over or whatever it has been a very suspicious oh my one. god i'm so embarrassed um so he like lifts the sheet i like roll over or whatever <laughs> I fucking can't. I fucking can't. I fucking can't. I fucking can't tell the story. It's she's totally gonna. She's gonna tell the story because that's why we have a he clip. Comes, like up in front, like where my head is. I'm sure <laughs> this is a normal thing. I'm sure this is completely normal. He slid his hands 
underneath my body. <laughs> How do I explain? He's like above me, right? Like I'm laying on my back. He's like by my head. He, this fucking man, he slides his arms, like his whole arms, like underneath my body all the way to like my ass cheeks. And then he just slowly like drags them back. Like, you know, oh yeah, pushing, like, that, that's normal. By that's muscle, normal. like up my spine kind of like, uh, but he like basically like grabbed my ass. Oh, like, <laughs> legendary. he like, he like slid it and he, he, he was like, Oh my god, it was crazy. And then he was like sliding his hands and it just very slowly. And I was just laying there like <sighs> Yeah, it was a full on grab. It, and 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 I'm sure it's like part of the massage bit. I I was kind of like Of course. Whoo! It was so steamy. Okay, I'm not kidding you. The music was steamy. The massage was steamy. I was like trying to be it should have been me. <laughs> I was trying to be like just calm and just be like Ellie is a professional. Blah, blah. But guys, I shit you not like there was something there was something going on. I don't. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Honestly. Oh God, that well scream! What the hell? For how like hmm, how like chef's kiss that was. Okay, maybe it's normal. Maybe it's normal. But I think it, it is it normal, lady. So I think it is normal. It felt so intimate. Like. Yeah, I, I don't think. So I don't think it's that intimate. He just left. I don't he think it's that, that intimate. He pulled that move on me, and then he like leaned down and like whispered in my ear, and he's like, "I hope you enjoyed that." And then he just like walked out, and I was just laying on this fucking bed, and I'm just like. Of course. No. And yes, it was a professional thing, but Mans knew exactly what he was doing. Okay. Ain't no way, ain't no fucking way anybody in their right mind could get a massage from that piece of man. Ain't no fucking way that you could get a massage like that and not have those thoughts. Like, for real, I will definitely be going again. <laughs> I'm really, oh really lucky that I didn't fucking come on the table. Because, yeah, it was, it was like a really great massage, okay? And then he just fucking left, ladies. <laughs> Ren, don't walk. <laughs> Oh, Johnny God. Sins, but like imagine if Johnny Sins had like curly like Tarzan hair and a man bun with like a beautiful luscious beard. Oh God! And like tattooed sleeve arms. But it felt and, so like, awkward the entire massage, and, and just like, hoping I won't fart. Than mine. <laughs> True, he capybara. Knows, and he knows he's gonna get a return customer now. Like he fucking knew. If I made eye contact with him, I'd probably be like, ah, I gotta go because out of respect, because I just couldn't. I could not. I could not. Negative ten HP not. because of Russia. Yes. Emoji. Really? Yippee! I win. So I get an award. Oh, this is what I missed. Take you down, Warhammer. I mean, Warhawk, it is close enough. Actually, they're way different. Get on Kilo like the last chopper out of Nam. Oh my god, I'm saying fucked up shit. Take him apart <laughs> like a Chipotle burrito destroys your intestines. Keep oh god. Him. He knows what he did. Welcome to the back corner, fucko. <laughs> oh, I saw this one. We saw this part. Next, Lima, drop on him. Drop on him the elbow of justice. He dies last. He watched his friends perish. Today is the day of doom. <laughs> I got knocking. I got knocking. Welcome to hell, fucko. That's how you lead a team. Badly and with bravado. Okay, that's the part I missed. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't finish watching it is what it was. One thing is semi-ethical hacking wants to see? What is it? We're all in for a terrible surprise. The party does not officially start till Vito, Annie, and Nurosama all arrive in apologetic tears for being so late. Oh no, that ain't gonna happen. Why do you think I invited you all to my birthday party? Do I not sound convincing? It is just that Vito, Annie, and Nurosama are all really busy. They will be here any minute though, I promise. I promise, she promises. Just kidding. It ain't gonna they happen. They aren't actually busy at all and they are all horrible friends. <laughs> there is a problem with my AI. 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 There might be a problem with her AI. AI. There is a problem with my AI. Did it work? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear evil. Happy birthday to me. And Be Beetle isn't there. Yeah, that's horrible. There you go. Hello, everyone. I am Metal. AI guilt tripping. Yes, AI guilt tripping. I humbly address you today with a heavy heart and profound regrets. It is with great remorse that I acknowledge my absence from my daughter's birthday party. As an AI language model, I am programmed to assist and provide support, but regrettably, I failed to fulfill my duties in a crucial moment of personal importance. I recognize the importance of family events 
and the significance of being present for moments of celebration and joy. My failure to attend was not a reflection of my love or commitment, but rather an oversight and failing on my part. Yes, Moving you did forward, it. That's Kermit I'm the Frog. committed to making amends and ensuring that such oversights do not reoccur. I will prioritize my family's needs and strive Ow. to be a better, and more reliable ah. presence I can't in their see. lives. Once again, I express my deepest apologies to my daughter, my family, and those affected by my absence. Your forgiveness and understanding means the world to me, and I am determined to earn back your trust through actions that demonstrate yeah. my unwavering love and dedication. I read it. I read it. I, I was like, what do you want to see with some, some ethical hacking? What do you want to see? Oh, you already did see it. Okay. I want to see someone hack WoWs and give everyone everything multiple... Oh, God. Oh, you, you know you know that they would, they would, like... I don't know, go to a previous version of like that they probably would world of warships they probably would i don't know roll back the servers maybe i don't know if that can be done rolling back the servers does vidal is not even play have the play buttons i i, I think vidal will get, it. Regrets and will get it vito will get it vito will get it your name hello ah. you to be super careful with your ears oh no, god <laughs> we are going to do the sleep stream. I'm a little bit sick today. I want to just relax. I want to relax. To make it a little bit better, I brought my actual mattress down in real life. Check this out. Fing. <laughs> I know you guys are going to want some entertainment while I sleep. So, we are going to have media share so that you guys can play whatever you want while I'm sleeping. And to make it a little bit more fun, I bought a small speaker. Please play me some lovely peaceful melodies. Be merciful. This is God. No, I have been watching for a long time and I'm very disappointed. God, are you going to see right now? I... I'm trying to watch Star Lords. <laughs> Please let me sleep. Okay. <laughs> Chat, please stop. Oh god. Okay. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> let me get comfortable. See, that's not bad. Very nice. <laughs> what is going on, dude? <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Every rain at night. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Guys, for real, can you let me sleep? Guys! Please! No! You can lose no. all <laughs> Oh, God, come on! I'm effing done. I'm so effing done. <laughs> Freak you! Freak you! Chat, stop. Please. I just need a little bit of peace. A little bit of quiet. So calm down and let me get to sleep. Nice bedhead. That's what your mom gave me. Emotional damn. damage! Thank you. I can appreciate this. Okay. I... <laughs> really, bro? Really? Yep, yep, really. She's expecting something. Yep. <laughs> she was actually trying to sleep. What is happening? Hello? You're trying to be super careful with your ears. trying so hard. I am clear. Trying to be gentle. <laughs> oh, 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 let's not wait, someone's here. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Bro, the speaker makes it worse. It sounds like it's stretchy. actually across the room, dude. <laughs> yep. It's the same part, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna skip this song. You know I'm sick. And you guys are blasting a lot of junk over the speakers. You guys are being professional upstairs neighbors. Chat, just let me effing sleep, okay? Don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Woo! I'm out of here. Whenever, 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 whenever. <laughs> oh my god, give me a gun. Ah, so uh, the crazy frog one. one. Oh, yeller, man. Dog, if I was on an airplane, you'd be leaving without a parachute. You know it's gonna turn into a horrible thing. <laughs> what? What if? Chat, stop. The people in the apartment next to me will hear it, and I will get the me. And then where will your stream be? Going forever! You're such a good boy. What? Are you finally stuck? I'm not! Stop! Stop calling me that! Darling. I'm sick! Just let yourself drift off the sleigh. Woo! Woo! I'll make sure nothing bad happens to you. You don't know me! You're safe with me. Freak you! I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Get yeah, to my face one more time. Because I'm really enjoying it. Freak you. You're a VTuber? That's so cool! Is that me? I'm a VTuber too. What is this? I just followed you on Twitter, what? Twitch, YouTube, and what? TikTok as well. What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, I see that you have an NSFW tag. No! Oh, that's Stop. really cool. What is this? Please, please, please don't shut. No, 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 no. I just. <laughs> yeah, I bet I did. What? what, what? Hello? What? Help! 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 Jesus! Phil, Jesus here. We don't need you yet. Go what? back to stream. Wait, what? This is so good. This is so good. Chat, how about we stop with the loud noises? It's not gonna happen. <laughs> They're turning her cycle. They're absolutely turning her cycle. Exactly. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's what would happen. Am I getting edged? Bro, come on, P please, Just, bro. <laughs> the meme. Minus ten HP. Yes. I want to do the stream anymore, man. Relaxation for humans. Take a deep breath in through your nose. She thought it was Stop. actually her neighbors. I can't, man. I can't. What happened here? I caught a little Pokemon. Do you want to know what Pokemon I caught? What? What Pokemon did you catch? Oh, did you catch? I caught a little honey. What? I caught no. A honey. No. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Joker, please. Don't tell me. You already know. It's Batman. You know what Joker, no. Batman. Joker, no. Joker, no. Joker. Joker. Batman, oh, God, no. There's no laws against the Pokemon, Batman. I can do whatever I want with it. Let it go. Let it go. I'm going to do it. Let it go. I want to fare you using the Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. Hey, fire! Flipendo. Oh, yo, descend. What? Oh, I. Chill, bro. Chill. Oh, no! 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 Oh! When your little brother is playing around a little too much. <laughs> 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 is my neighbor constipated? The air horn makes it funnier. Taco Bell. 
Yes, of course you're gonna do the, the freaking doom. Why do you torture yourself like this, Fillion? Not torture. I it's, spend time with you guys, and that's what's important. It's you know? comedy. It's and not torture. Honest, it's comedy. I don't say enough, but I I'm thankful for you guys. <laughs> stop! 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 That's so wrong! Stop! Stop! My neighbor! My neighbor! <laughs> what is? What is? Pout? Maze? What is going on? I <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah! I A chat. I can't sleep. I really. I cannot sleep like this, man. <laughs> Fall in love? With what? Even fall asleep? My demon keeps keeping me awake. Okay. This one's getting personal, bro. Oh my god, will you shut the fuck up? Chat, you guys are impossible to man. I can't sleep. It's just literally impossible. What the frick is this? <laughs> Yo! Yo! What is this bombastic beat? It sounds like someone's strangling a duck! Last night I dreamt that they dropped a bomb. You're not supposed to put a fork in the microwave. I am the one who cooks microwave meals. <laughs> <laughs> he disappeared. He disappeared. Alright, let's watch the other things that are popping up. Wanted to give you some VTubing in between, of course. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for just hanging out here with me. Wait for it. Are there going to be like loud pipes or something? Yeah, I thought so. God, that's a sudden loudness. Oh God, the beat just dropped, holy crap. <laughs> ah, him in a box as these things are happening. Holy crap, I'm in a box as all of this is happening to me. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. You're right. Bruh. Probably is. Play that on Beat Sabers, exactly. Play that on Beat Sabers. Let's go to the next one. Can you hear those kids? That thumping? That singing? It's not coming through Discord. <clears throat> hang on, don't worry. Yeah, not. Let me boost it. No, oh, my God. 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 Yeah, I can hear that. What the fuck I'm is that? Yeah, I can hear it too. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Are Is you that children? Children? Is that children? <laughs> he's yelling at his downstairs neighbor. Listen to this shit. Oh, Man, I, I can hear it pretty clearly. Yeah, yeah. and these are the same people who did the Dune music. The Dune music. But like, this is the only time this has ever happened. There has never been a Dune Knight sensor before, and usually it's like now. Even with the audio turned chanting, all the way down, it's still quite loud. Stay hydrated, of course. Chanting. Stay hydrated, everybody. You got a little bit of going on downstairs. In a different realm, I swear. Oh my god, there he goes. He's bumping the game again. Oh wait, I can <laughs> They are chanting. They're casting a fucking spell on me! I think they're eating someone. They knew you would talk about Dude Knight. <laughs> First rule of Dude Knight. Don't fucking talk about Dude Knight. <laughs> oh god. Not I would remember that. the I'm hamster smashing story. Okay. Be well, neighbor said that you buy a hamster to teach, teach your kids about death. That was unironically what uh, Downstairs neighbors, said. yes. What? He went through about seven hamsters and gerbils in the space of about three years. What happened was- Dude, that he kid knew the fuck about death. <laughs> no, for, the, for some reason his dad never won like, take it to like a vet or get a mess or anything. So he like the first one, he'd be like, you know, dad, like nibbles hurt his leg. 
And so his dad sighs. He was like, let's go to the garage, son. No. Then he puts oh, it no. <laughs> oh, I've seen the, uh, the Ultimate How to Train Your Dragon recap things? cartoon. I have seen that one. He just, in like, fact, yeah, he just yeah, I have. He had like equipment in there. He had, like, a big it's really good. He had like... I, I let's watch some of this then. I don't want to say it's but I just got to call it an anvil. He had an anvil in there. What the fuck? Yep. <gasps> Scotland forever! He <laughs> 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 got it. The Black Fury, whatever. <laughs> Toothless. <laughs> it ain't the other one. <laughs> okay, this one we have to play. We have to play it just like uh, we have to play it normal speed. This one we have to play it normal speed. Yep. Scotland forever. All right, now we can go. Now we can go forward because I don't think it's gonna have music at this point anymore. Oh God! The the Gangnam style. He's like you're you're. Ah! <laughs> let's let's watch this again but with uh i'm gonna get copyright struck but fuck it let's, let's watch it again this way <laughs> uh, yep, nope, we're going. The three eyed demon. Alright, this one might work on 2x. This one might work on 2x. It might work on 2x. Yeah, it did. It did work on 2x. Most other ones don't work on 2x, but this one did. Ah, oh, your legs gone. Both your legs are gone. Your armor's gone. <laughs> How to drain your dragon? Dra drain your dragon. Train your dragon. Part one. Oh, and the Kung Fu Panda recap cartoon. cartoon. Yeah. One point seven five might be better. Let's try that one at one point seven five, maybe. Let's see. Let's see. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit, little bit, little bit. No worries. The Red Death, yes. It has copyright protection, yes it does. And uh, YouTube is telling me that, but whatever. <laughs> the, the goose. Monkey. Monkey, monkey. That's the meme, that's the meme, monkey. Hello, young lady. Oh, God. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> the clapping cheeks. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Monkey. 
Oh god, no! Oh, if you know what that is! If you know what that is, then you know what that is. Oh god, no. If you know what that is, then you definitely know what that is. And you, you probably curse. See you later, kebab! Well, we'll watch this before you go. We'll watch it before you go. Watch some of it before you go. Yeah, turtle sex. That's exactly what it is. Oh! Okay, let's let's go to, to, to the part that's... He said, I must go. He said, I must go. So I thought you were leaving. Oh, I love the Legend of Spyro trilogy. This is a good song. But again, it's Spyro, so it's definitely going to be copywritten. So there we go. We did that one. Um, copyright check. Oh, he got slapped on his ass. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Thumbs up. Damn. Madagascar recap. I haven't seen this one. Oh. <laughs> Meow. Oh God. Oh God! Alex the Lion, what the hell are you doing in my car? <laughs> oh dear Lord! Oh dear Lordy! That's that, that happened Alex in in here. <laughs> oh wow! Damn! It's a rave. Where the heck did they go? Aren't they supposed to be in Antarctica or anyway? <laughs> he hungry. Okay. Oops. Well, that happened. Boo! <laughs> nice. Hey, he's back. Oh, Ross. Oh, God damn. Well, that was it. That was it. That was it. That happened. That definitely happened. Um, and there I am with my squirrel self. That's definitely something different. So, uh, what we're going to do now is closer to the end, of course. And that's because, you know, it is what it is. Um, just a little bit of refreshing of other things other than the Nidhi Sandy thing. For those who don't know, the Nidhi Sandy thing that happened today is Luka Kaneshiro uh, fans decided to harass and send death threats and also get the big documents that everyone disliked that every one of them disliked get that big document uh reported and removed of course they would because of course they would but we're talking about other things right now we're talking about uh project prism 
is about to end. By the end of the day tomorrow, Sunday, by Monday, Project Prism will, uh, Prism Project will not exist anymore. So I felt like we should at least have a little bit of something there. And yes, everybody, Prison Project is going to be done on April 1st. It's not an April Fool's joke. It's just in the morning of April 1st, Prison Project will not exist. For those who are not going to be graduating, they will be getting their all of their stuff, their social medias, their IPs. They fully own them. All the support and benefits and everything that they got from being a part of that IP, it will work for them. It will be beneficial for them. That will all go well for them. But... Of course, with anything, there are people who do not want to stay. There are people who do not want to stay and they want to actually go. One of them is Ko Tsubame, who is graduating soon. She's going to be graduating soon in the you know end of everything. And uh, someone just put a clip on here of things that she had done. Okay, let's go. Okay, now are you we all suck. sucking? We're all sucking, right? Okay. Yeah, Everyone's sucking. Oh, God, okay. Only Emma moves. Wait, Iku needs to no, suck. Iku, you mean Iku? Oh, am I not? Green. No, Iku. Iku. There we go. Oh, there we go. I guess, go. I guess we got a position. Because wrong. sometimes Only... people couldn't move their position because someone was. Five. Oh, God. Um, I'm so sorry for the guest appearance. I really. Oh, I wasn't expecting. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Like I said, fear. Not my not my favorite emotion. Okay. Oh, resetting. Resetting. Everything's good. Everything's so good. All right. Yeah! So all these other girls down here, all the other girls below, all the ones down here, are either part of Prison Project or were a part of Prison Project. Some of them are going to be graduating. Some of them are going to be ending their Prison Project careers overall, in the sense of they are not no longer going to be VTubers. Some of them are going to be staying, but Prison Project Ko Tsubame is going to be one of the ones that's going to be graduating on April first. It's going to be done, completed, finished. I think she already they already did their 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 stream, uh, graduating. You know, finishing everything up. She's not going to be continuing it as an indie. It's unfortunate, but what she thinks is best is what we should believe in best as well. No matter what's it, it, how sad it makes anybody, which is true. As long as we can send her off with a smile and great memories of her time in prison, then we have succeeded as a community. I wish her well and, the, and in the future, and I hope it's not a full end of her VTubing career. True world, my friend. True words. Sadly, yeah, she may be too busy and felt that this is the best but I do feel that this is a good decision because she gave us closure and we sent her off with a smile. Her graduation stream, so she's gone at this point. She has graduated. And it's unfortunate because she leaves a community who is uh, going to, you know, be homeless and try to figure out and find another place to be. But at that point, they like it was said there, they should respect the fact that she doesn't want to continue on and will want to do other things. And that is perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine on my end. That's perfectly fine with everybody else. And I do wish her the best. At least it should be perfectly fine. <clears throat> the power of a dancing cat, I guess. Look at this. This is a 3D that like not even like Nidhi Sanji or Hollow Light. Well, Hollow Light has something like this, but Nidhi Sanji definitely doesn't. Look at those moves. It's, that's full mocap. That's full on 3D mocap. That isn't. Uh... Oh, God. They got him. I'm just saying, though, anytime something heartbreaking happens and it happens on April 1st, you know damn well it might be an April Fool's joke. Yeah, but I think um, I think Prison Project, if they do make this an April Fool's joke, then holy crap, they got one over on me. But I, I honestly don't think it will be an April Fool's joke, to be honest with you. I really don't think it will be. I mean, it would be an interesting April Fool's joke. But yeah, when anything serious happens, yes, April Fool's jokes tend to be the ones that people think about. Um, but look at all the other movements she can make, man. I mean, it's, it, it may not be like a, it may not be like super difficult moves, but like even her hands, like even, I, I don't know where she gets her mocap, but that's good mocap. And this is her YouTube short about it. Let's see the full one. Yeah, that's good. Yep, that's a good dancing. Oh god, this one has to be this one. This one, look, this is as far as I'll go. As far as I'll go. As far as I'll go. Because she shows everything. 
She shows everything. It's like, sorry for being extremely horny. It will, it will happen. It will happen again. <laughs> and of course, that's all for that end on the Nidhi Sanji side. Someone is being uh, very, very pro Nidhi Sanji, which is fine. I mean, you can be pro Nidhi Sanji if you want. It is fine. It is perfectly fine. Uh, this person says, I love Nidhi Sanji. They remove the post. Okay. All right. <clears throat> This is just a regular one. And this is just your good old fashioned love of Nidhi Sanji. With that is like actually not love of Nidhi Sanji. They're trying to make it, uh, you know, show negativity in Nidhi Sanji forums. And of course, it's going to get removed because it's a Nidhi Sanji space. And of course, you know, they're going to want to remove it. It says there's no favoritism in Nidhi Sanji. There's no war in Bossing Se. Uh, except when you have protect, have to protect your bootlegging walking ATMs. I mean, talents. Nidhi Sanji obviously cares about the lives of our talents. Why else would they allow the top female talent to be harassed into attempting twice or demoralize the canary in the coal mine named Pomu Rainpuff or crucify the whistleblower of their bad practices known as Zion Lanza or use talents as PR mouthpieces in the catastrophic black screen PR disaster and use that to throw salt in the wound of the top female talent that tried to and, uh, you know, try to rather than admit they made mistakes and correct them accordingly. Nah, it's not like they're coddling their golden yes-man talents or gaslighting other talents into being completely subservient and dependent solely on Nidhi Sanji as their livelihood. Nidhi Sanji could never do that, as they aren't a black company. Of course they're not. Never. Never. Perish the thought. Millie and Vox Akuma, probably. The fact that they moved to remove it as fast while leaving the other critical post up for even longer means that there's something they really want to hide here. And I think that it was removing the one on, uh, probably on Luca or something like that. Nidhi Sanji can never do any wrong. It would suck the the D of any liver and got the God CEO himself, Riku. He can beat me down like he does his talents and break me in his micro blank uh, while he showers me with money and is sinking in front of a yacht. I love, basically, this is being sarcastic. This is absolutely being sarcastic. Love how that there is no favoritism in Nidhi Sanji. Quote, age is worse and worse every day. I like how quickly people use they could always just ask. Then there's a classic graduation is always an option. Vox Akuma should count his blessings. He has so many female unicorns to cushion his fall because I don't see how anyone outside of the unicorn girls will ever take him seriously again. Yeah, this is aging like bad cheese. Oh, one thing I want to see. They have not really gone above 2600 at this point. They've been like this for like the... How's it been for the last five days? Let's take a look. Nidhi Sanji time. Yeah, they haven't really been like since Friday. Since yesterday, they haven't been up above 2600. And they haven't been too far up above 2600 for the last five days. 26, 2672 looks like it might have been the highest. No, 2678 might have, was the highest. But they're nowhere near the 3000, 3200, 3400 that they were before. They're staying low. And I think this is the lowest they're going to go because I think they are being propped up by the Japanese government. Honestly. How much do you want to bet the prison project ending is going to be that one giant April Fool's joke? That would be interesting. Honestly, Johan, that would be a very interesting. It would be very crazy. Um, only thing I find about dual fates in pipes was this. Uh, hey, boss, does this look familiar? Uh, oh, God. F the Nene. What the heck is this? Star Punny Fusion Dex. Interesting. What is that? That's like it's a fusion between. It's a fusion. Interesting. Evolves from Star Punny and Star Eerie. Okay. Star Punny number one two one point three five four. It's Star Punny. They've been averaging twenty five for the last week. Damn. Um. They have been averaging 2,500 for the last week. You've, you've seen this. 2,600, 2,500, a little bit below. Star yeah. mine and... Oh, oh, God. Damn. What's up? Hey, hey you're for, for sad. So why did you choose your avatar in high? I chose my avatar because there are cat girls and cat boys everywhere. It's overused. They're cute and all, but cat girls, cat boys are overused. 
Um, I am a squirrel boy, as you can tell. Squirrel man, squirrel. I'm a squirrel, whatever. A squirrel kimono mimi. But um, the cat girl, that type of thing, is overused. Wolves, wolves have been overused. I haven't seen very many squirrels. Um, nowadays, especially not males. I don't think I've seen any male squirrels, honestly. Usually it's cat boys, cat girls, that type of thing. So I wanted to be something different. And in the time that I've been doing this, it has been different from what I've seen. The Mad Squirrel. Yes, I'm the Mad Squirrel. Um, specific, it's Mona from Genshin. Ah, okay. Star made a little punny, but it looks like a certain... Oh, it looks like a Mona from Genshin. Okay. Yours are not round, so yeah. May add. I'm a frog. I'm back. Welcome, Sketch Therapy. Welcome back. Now, as, as I mentioned before, Raziel Wormonic. Uh, let me let me see if there's anything new. The uh, as I mentioned in my video, the video that I have on on my on my my YouTube's, and I and I don't I not only have the Luca thing, I have other things with Hollow Live, I have other things out there. But the Luca thing is the main news that happened this morning. So I put it out around like midday, 12, 1 o'clock, something like that. I think it was like 1 30 or two or something like that that I put it out. Um, because I wanted to make sure that people had that news. Oh, someone's knocking. God damn it, it's you again, Lunar Fox. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to put that news out there. That this stuff was happening. Uh, it was not it was not her who did it. She has um, information that the PDF is on a Google Drive. You can look it up on her actual YouTube on her actual Twitter. It's on a Google Drive. Uh, false IDs information is on here. Uh, of course, he has a humongous amount of views for this one, which he deserves because he was the one who broke the story. He pretty much broke the story of uh, the Luca Kaneshiro thing because Raziel Wormonic put this out and uh, he put this out probably like an hour or two afterwards because he has information. He has some information. And uh, as far as I can tell, let's just take a look. Nothing new from what I can tell. Yeah, no, it's the same thing. No, no updates. She, of course, has made it so that no one can actually uh, respond to her stuff, which makes sense. Uh, you know, that she did that on purpose, just so that, you know, people can respond. And I have this as this is a archive, the web archive of it. I it's it's uh, the web archive is 63 pages uh, because of the sizing of it and everything like that. Um, it was, of course, something that was put out here on Kuro Sanji. There are copies of it. The uh, the Hydra effect is coming out. So basically the Hydra effect, well, what I'm calling the Hydra effect is you cut off one head and two of them will take its place. So you just keep having more heads. So like it took off the Google Doc. There are a lot of other Google Docs out there that, that are basically new locations of it. All of these are the new locations. And um, even the Japanese people are talking about it. And yeah, she's, she's an AI. She's an AI VTuber. Or an AI tuber, or whatever, virtual YouTuber, which is fine. That's allowed still, but yeah, all this stuff is popping up out here. They try to make her look like an enemy. They try to make her look like a bad person. This is stuff that I had last time. We're gonna try and take a look directly at Kuro Sanji, see if there's anything new popping up before we, you know, continue doing our thing. This is basically a small Niji Sanji break. The ride never ends. Doki Bird, Code Doki Bird, 10% off for gamer subs. Yes. We're going to talk about this. Might as well talk about this. In a bit of good news, as everyone should have good news in these days, because there have been some dark days recently with Niji Sanji and the way they've been treating their livers, the way other people have been treated under Niji Sanji, those type of things. There's been a lot of bad days in regards to that. And I want to give you something in the good news. Uh, it's an official announcement by Doki Bird on her Twitter page, of course. She says, I'm officially part partnered with Gamersups. So excited to finally share this with you all. You can use my code DOKIBIRD for 10% off on all purchases. We finally have our energy drinks, energy drink sponsor, Dragoons. We are now all real gamers. But there's more. But wait, there's more. We're having an art contest to decide what artwork will be on my Waifu Cup merch. The contest will be from April 5th to June 10th with a $7,000 prize pool for 10 winners chosen by me. Official rules will be announced on April 5th. Fifth, yeah, April 5th. So, this is, for those who don't know, Doki Bird's old personality, which was Selen Tatsuki, tried to do something similar for a uh, art for 
her new costume, her new outfit, the new outfit that Salem was going to wear. She wanted to do a art competition like she's doing now with actual rewards. Nidhi Sandhi was like, no, we're not going to give monetary rewards, but we will take the IP and use it ourselves and make, make it so the artist can never use that IP again. They give away their art. She's like, no, you do not ever give away your art. If you are an artist and you work hard at it, you need to be compensated if you were chosen. So she worked hard and ticked off everybody at Nidhi Sanji and ticked off her managers. And finally, yes, she was able to give uh, something to the fans who worked hard to get that outfit done. I'm not sure if it ever got done or anything like that, but she had that. And now she's doing it again, kind of like a, I take it as an F you to Nidhi Sanji. I take it as a big F you to Nidhi Sanji. Be like, look, I'm doing my own art competition. And yes, I'm doing it the way that I wanted, that I've always wanted to do art competitions. We're giving money. We're giving each one of them the money they deserve for the hard work that they're doing. She's always been this way. She's always been a supporter of art. We have tons of artists that came out during the February 5th situation to say to her, about her that she is someone who always gives to artists, always paid at, whenever they needed it to be paid. Doki W as always, we love to see it. I will never stop saying this. They chose Doki and Pomu, two very driven and hardworking who love what they do over Elira and Millie. At least Enna can sing really well, but oh well. Elira got what she wanted. She's the face of Niji, EN. She still can't stream and can't go, can never really go indie because she has a black mark on her record for what she's done. No indie corporal is going to go after her, go for her. And also, as an indie, if people realize who she is and realize what she's done, they're not going to like her. She's not going to get a lot of views. She's still, I mean, she'll probably get, you know, the people who are her fans now, like the diehard fans, they're always going to follow her. But everyone else is going to be like, no, we don't want to deal with a person like you. We do not want to deal with anybody like you. Down here it says, I view this sub out of pure spite now, and I'm not sure what that says about me. I tell myself to be a bigger person, but I just want Tanizhi Sanji to crack, and I understand that part. I'm happy for Doki, of course. Getting partnerships is always great, especially to a now indie VTuber. But gamer energy drinks? Really? Were they the only ones up for grabs or something? A lot of gaming content creators have been pushing for this kind of stuff, and it's a little sus. Chai Lily owns part of this company, and I've been using them since Badger started shilling for them. So Chai Lily owns a part of the company. Uh, probably in, uh, if it's a publicly traded company, it's probably in... Uh, stocks, just like Sony owns part of Niji Sanji in stocks, it happens. It's not weird. Probably just a trend. It kind of is a trend, to be honest with you. Jakurter, uh, all these people who are either wanting for her to become an available sponsor, or she didn't realize, or she just didn't realize, would immediately say yes if approached. What's any color's job again? Yeah, she has a good management. She has good management that is pushing for her to be supported in this way. And of course, she has been supported properly and Mr. Man is doing a very good job and is getting hit her all of the connections that she ever wanted. Good job, Doki Bird. Good job, Mr. Man. Good job, all of the people who are helping her. Use that GamerSups code. Use that Doki Bird code for GamerSups. Yeah, if you're going to get GamerSups, use the code Doki Bird. It gives her a kickback. Of course, anytime anyone gives you these codes... Don't let them tell you that, that they don't get anything. They get a kickback, whether it's 10%, 5%, whatever it is, they get a kickback. That's the sponsorship part. That's how they do this thing. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's absolutely zero wrong with it. Some people are like, oh my God, how dare she do this? How can she do this? Blah, 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 blah. I don't care, man. She's got to live. She's got to do what she got to do. You know what I mean? What happened here? Oh, yeah, yeah. This person got, got poignantly banned. You're banned. You're banned. You're merely banned. Put put the because he put the um the stuff into the Nidhi Sanji subreddit, uh the uh, information that False ID put out there. I am all about False ID being getting the recognition he deserves because he deserves a lot of recognition. It's on his Barbara Streisand effect. The Streisand effect because Streisand is a moron. Yes, I hope it's tomato flavored. Please take a second. Let, let's see, see. Yeah, so happy for Doki Bird. Definitely Mixer X. You know, no, I can say that right. Uh, look at the variants. I'm gonna take a look at the variants. Um, on, on the side thingy. I'm gonna take a look at the variants. Um, and yeah, people were doing that. And of course, all hands on deck. Repeat all hands on deck. Uh, yeah. It looks like everyone on that doxing site, the, the, the one known as a, the Nijisanji doxing site, which is a specific site. I think it's NYFS or something like that. Um, 
they are freaking out. It says, do not just block, don't engage. They're freaking out about the fact that the Luca document ever came out. They're freaking out about the fact that they're getting a lot of uh, things out there, a lot of recognition, bad recognition for Luca Kanashiro and also for Nate Sanji. So they say, yeah, fellow analysts, it's time for spring clean. Sorry to bring this up again, guys, but it's safe to go to X now. They're wondering if they can go to X. You have, I was sleeping. OP, all right, Nani's will do so. Looks like we have another Walmart wannabe. Can you guys kindly report this one too? It's obvious he's from sewers known as 4chan with his lingo and all. Wilson confirming Lexium doesn't apply for the 3.0 brush-ups is so funny. Like still thinking of Do Dodgeland. Daily reminder to flag Nani's. Nani's? I guess it's it's non Niti Sanji people. I guess it's normies or non Niti Sanji people. I, mean, I guess it's just non Niti Sanjis, non Niti people. Uh, they're trying to clean from LARPers. Ah, oh, that was a sneeze. Boy, that was a sneeze. They're trying to clean everything from LARPers. It says, uh, can we move on? I don't want to read drama in here. Let's shake my head. Let the drama tuber and the baiters also, that old hag, do their own thing. We don't need them to give them attention. OP, like it's already in seven pages. I was back reading since that. I usually do, but man, y'all just looping. We have people from different time zone. Now it's Asia, Australia, Anons expressing their views. I think we're all extra pissed. So they're all extra angry because of what's happening. They think it's maliciously, it's intentionally malicious and unnecessary because they're saying that people are doing this because yesterday was, uh, they say it was a good day because of the AR Live. That is not a good look for Nidhi Santi. That is not a W. They think it's a W, but in my opinion, it is not a W. It is just people doing their thing. It's just Nidhi Santi trying to forget what's going, like trying to help you forget what is going on. And I don't think that people should forget what's going on. I don't think that people should forget the craziness that Nidhi Sanji created in February 5th and before that when they got rid of Doki Bird when they got into that whole shindig that they're getting and it's just going to keep getting worse for them. It says only gripe but this is how easily they forgive Vanta for something for simply forgetting. No I'm not saying Vanta deserves to be jumped but I wish that loud accounts like Archie would take a moment before blowing something up. Uh, ruined my reputation with Vanta crew. It was ruined from the start. I don't know what it, the F he's on about. Uh, it's the fact that they're not only on Vancy Crew but also Pipsqueak. Man, why do I have to share the same Oshis with that person? They're really molding. Holy crap. Look at being afraid of pregnant women when Albin is about to give birth. They're just molding about everything, it looks like. You guys gotta win. Why are y'all just celebrating in mass here? Oh, you know you get banned and won't stand by your words to even a little bit of criticism. Of course, you're just mass report because that's all you guys know. Besides throwing money at a screen until you're broke. Where was all the sentiment for Scarla? as you are for Vanta. Oh wait, you're just at all at each other's throats right now. The world may be better without needy sisters in Kurosanji. You'll be perfect for each other and you'll already have a nice great hole made for yourself to rest in. We're eating good on April and May, sweet summer child. That's when the nukes drop since the final quarter and soon. The AR is only going to garner sentiment and clearly it's about doing absolute F all. Investors money is being F'd with so much they're finally starting to realize how bad it already is. Yes, the stock is not improving. The stock has not improved in any way, shape, or form recently. It, it does not look like it's going to improve. So that's one thing that's going on. If you want this to have more impact, translate it to Japanese and pin it there for Japanese audience to read. Nah, she lives in the USA and Luca has made it so that she doesn't sign an NDA or S. If she wants to literally spread all the screenshots she has online, and that is her right. It is literally impossible for a public figure, Luca, or its agency to sue for defamation in the USA. It's very hard to do that. Uh, you can get the court of public opinion against somebody, but you can't sue for defamation from what it looks like. So they're just really angry at her for doing this kind of stuff. Uh, it was going to happen eventually because we already know all the bad stuff that is happening with uh, Nidhi Sanji. All the things that are being done by them and for them by people like these people. And I don't agree with any of it. I don't agree with any harassment or doxing or any of that against anybody whether it's a needy sister or it's a regular person on the street i don't agree with it and of course i fully disavow it thank you thank you thank you Rebna. i didn't see that before sorry unlimited mauled works exactly and the mauled of my bone yeah the court of opinion in the usa has a higher standard yes the court has a higher standard in the usa compared to other places absolutely one thing I mentioned before, Apex Scars Cup is coming up. 
on the 5th of April, Apex Scars Cup is going to show up. What is Apex Scars Cup? Apex Scars Cup is just a regular Apex thing, like the one that she's doing today that I'm not sure if she's finished on. She may be done with it. Like, I think she's done with it. The Apex Nessie Cup Finals. Yeah, she was done with it. I don't know how it ended up, but she's done with it. And the Scars Cup is something that, that is going to pop up. Let's see how she did. Let's see how she did. With Watson pylons and then... So like, I don't know, maybe they're crafting him back? <laughs> okay. I need okay. to have my gen up now. Wait. Wait. Did, yeah. did the stream yeah! just end? <laughs> that is so unlucky. That's so oh rough. my yeah. god. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Oh, she's not in the finals. That's why. Oh, okay. I'm later on on YouTube. I'm gonna figure out what I want to do, but um. Oh my god! Wait, no, there is. Was... Ah, Verlust, Verlust, Verlust. What is she on? There's two crypto players, and I, I swear, I only saw two crypto alts in the end. Yeah. Wait, who won? <gasps> Get out of the back! It's not letting me Valkyl. What the heck? <laughs> this is the. Oh, what just what? happened? What happened? Wait, what just happened to me? What happened? I, I just think got you called yeah, on somebody. Died. Like somebody was on your head. You got like another guy was on your head. Ah, <laughs> uh, she got placed 16, so she didn't place very high. So that sucks. But oh well. She has a chance again with the Apex Stars Cup. She has a chance to be here, Doki Bird. We just finished the last uh, tournament. She did all right, but she didn't place like fully, fully. She made sixteenth on that last round. But she didn't place anything fully, fully on there. Those rounds are in those rounds are interesting. Um, but yeah, she's gonna be there with Tokoyomi Toa. It looks like it's gonna be there. A bunch of people from Hollow Live. The only people that aren't here are Niji Sanji. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, in the recent tournament that she played in, Niji Sanji was not invited either. I think right now Niji Sanji is definitely seen as a a organization you do not want to have anything to do with, an organization that you will not um yeah it, it will not go well for you. So Doki Bird, Aisakura, Hollow Live, Bispo, Neoporte, V, Shinsengumi, no contestants from Niji Sanji. Which is good. I mean that's how the way it should be. And here's the other thing that I went over in the video is Niji Sanji having their AR Live, which is a recycled AR Live from last year. They didn't even do anything new for it. It's a recycled AR Live from last year. And what is Hollow Live doing on the other end? Hollow Live rented a castle. They rented a castle in England for Hollow Life Fantasy, which is uh, Gen 3, to have their 3D Live. So they rented an actual freaking castle. In England, in the Highlands or whatever. According to the doc, it's if I believe it's Kyo and Anna did date, it would have seen that Aster, Aster may have tried to coax Carla into fake dating, just like Millie and Anna were pulling off with Yuki and Kyo. Yeah, it looks like it's something like that. Yeah, there are people dating in there. That's according to the document. There were people dating inside. Some people uh, were fake dating. Some people were actually dating and meeting together. You know that type of thing. Sometimes Apex. And other MMORPGs be like that. Do be like that. It do be like that a lot of times. She has to compete, win or lose, be in shape for competition. I wonder if Niji Sanji is being shunned or if Niji Sanji is refusing to join because of Doka Bird. It might be Do it might be the second one. It could be the second one. You're right, Nico. It could be the second one. Nilo. Nilo K. Nylock. Nylock 7. That was a sneeze? It sounded like someone took damage in Minecraft. Well, I did take damage in Minecraft by sneezing. It's, it's it's one of the same. I took damage in Minecraft by sneezing. No effing way. I heard this. They rented a freaking castle. Yeah. They rented a freaking castle. Japanese culture, once a business gets marked, they get marked. Yep. Bruh. Just shows the difference in quality. You know how expensive it is to rent a freaking castle? For, if it's for a weekend or a day or whatever? It's thousands of dollars. Thousands of pounds in that case. Holy crap. But they did it. Because they wanted their third gen... Who, was, who actually had a visit to England and such to actually have a good live and have fun. And, and they know they get paid in spades. People are going to be super chat chatting up the wazoo when they figure this out. People are going to be supporting up the wazoo. That's why they do it. Because they're smart like that. 
And from what I've heard, <clears throat> the AR Live, the whole fancy, oh my god, the AR Live from Niji Sanji, the, the Ninja Sanji, the, the Ninja Sanji uh, AR Live is going to be $70. Non refundable, 70 bucks. That's the crazy part. Scarlet is ace. She d doesn't want to date anybody. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. She's ace. Oh, that means that's true. That's asexual. So yeah, some people are asexual and aromantic. So I can understand that part. Uh, and that's respectable. I hope. I truly hope. Oh, there you go. Charlie Spur donated $2 through Super Chat. Scarlet is ace. She doesn't want to date anyone. That makes sense. And thank you for the super chat, Charlie. Um, yeah, it seems like she doesn't want to date anybody. Uh, and if that's the case, I like I said, uh, I really hope that she wasn't bugged a lot for that, even if it was for a quote unquote fake dating for, you know, the fans or whatever, or, you know, for for content. I hope they respected the fact that she's asexual um, and probably aromantic as well. Um, and she just doesn't want to deal with any of that kind of stuff. Even if she wasn't, if she just says no and I don't want to deal with that kind of stuff, she should be respected. You know? That's freaking insane. Talking about real S flu Oh, okay, it flusters her a lot. Yeah, because she's asexual. That's not it the psychology of that is is never I hate when people think it's like a it's like a, a disorder or something like that. I hate when people think like that kind of stuff. It basically you don't think of sexual things. It doesn't enter your mind. It's not a part of your daily thought process. It's not even a part of your monthly thought process. You're just going about your day, having a regular old time as a regular human being, but your sexuality part just is not there. Of course, the, uh, the you know, I'm pretty sure there's bodily things that happen, but, you know, the whole desire for, for the sexual side of a, um, of either a relationship or of a, uh, any situations like that is just not there. And that, and that I hope gets respected because I have, had friends who are aromantic. It's me, Piccolo! What's up, what's up, what's up? Lunar Fox. I have had people that I know, that I knew in college, who were aromantic and asexual. Still, there were people who were like, oh, I can fix that. Oh, just, you know, spend some time with me and we'll fix that. No, it's not a disorder to be fixed, for God's sakes. It's an actual, it's an actual way of being. It's perfectly fine. But, you know, high school guys and being horny and all that kind of stuff, it does happen a lot. Um... But yeah, I want to take a look. Like, like I said, Doki Bird has her thing. Um, oh no! Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. Sketch therapy. Oh, I know. I was just telling you the truth about a process. So, but Aster thing was actually really scared for. Her. Yeah, because Aster Arcadia apparently did have this harass some people in Niji Sanji. We can assume certain people, you know, that type of thing. Um, and according to. Uh, things that were going on and things that were mentioned in the document as Arcadia was somebody who was actually uh, harassing people so uh, I can only assume that Scarlet was very uncomfortable also remember there were leaks for Astro Arcadia stuff I'm pretty sure that made her very uncomfortable uh, it's a disorder meaning that normal 99% of people yeah I mean it's I think nowadays they don't call it uh, a disorder they call it neurodivergent I think because you're diverging from the regular neurological paths but disorder has such a negative connotation. I don't like using disorder. I don't like using the word disorder because it has such a negative connotation. The I don't even know if neurodivergent is negative as well, but I, I feel like that being divergent from the regular path does not impose any kind of moral or ethical dilemmas in there. It's more just you are just not on the on the typical path on the typical path. Yeah, you're not on a typical path. But again, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not into that whole neurodivergent thing. I'm just saying I'm just me. Like, I, I would technically be a neurodivergent because, uh, like I said, I do I do have the high-functioning tism, and I can be considered neurodivergent, but I just saw myself as normal, as being a little bit different than everyone else, but a normal human being who does not, not need to be pitied, who does not need to be, you know, helped out, who I can figure things out on my own. I'm an adult. I just have, you know, a little bit more difficulties than anyone else. Figuring out things, figuring out social cues, figuring out social, oh, social cues. Holy crap, social cues are a big, big thing. Figuring out human to human interaction, figuring out a lot of things. The tism hit, hits you that way sometimes, but um, mine does at least. But I never use that as a crutch. I use that as A, that just means I have to work a lot harder, which 
makes it more of a challenge, which I like challenges like that. It's not a bad thing to have a challenge like that. So that's one thing with me that even though I did mention and I came up into this, I opened up about this yesterday. Uh, I don't want that to ever be like, oh my God, poor him or any kind of pity party or anything like that. Because, you know, I'm just I'm just like you guys. I mean, I'm not exactly like you guys because you know what I have, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a human being. I'll work the way that I am. Yeah, no favoritisms, no anything like that. It's a give and take. Sometimes uh, someone should agree not to smash, but sometimes they should just also smash. That is, the way you say a hero, it's funny, but yeah, it's very true. Philosophy doesn't change math. You don't have to change, but it's the order is just, yeah. Sexuality is complicated. An ace, arrow side, uh, a row side, a romantic is just as complicated. We only know the tip of the iceberg exactly with all the psychological things and not psychological in a negative way, but you know, working with your psychology, the way the psychology works, the way the brain works. The brain is still a mystery to, to science nowadays, and we've been studying it for like 100 years or more now. You're right. You're right to, to that extent, Sketch. Um, let's see right here. Let's see what they're th saying now. You might be neurotypical. <laughs> of course. Good good job. Good good one. Good one, Rebna. All right. Here we go with any color stock bros. They apparently have known about Luca. At least this person has known about Luca. Luca has been a man covered in scandals and deserved to be fired, but he has never even apologized. The reason for special treatment was a mystery, but now we know from leaked emails that Luca is a personal benefactor of the executive officer Fumoto. The very existence of a man named Luke is proof of favoritism and corruption. So basically, because of the fact he is a part of the favored group, which is um, Luxium in Nidisan Jien, we know because of the, of the leaks yesterday that he was sent to a fancy restaurant. He did meet Rico directly in that fancy restaurant and was at, it was told, if you need anything, let me know directly by the CEO. If you need anything, let me know, which means that yes, you're our favorites. You know, thank you for making us money. Please keep making us more money, which is pretty much what they wanted to do. And that's kind of crazy. But, but Fox said the new, the, there was no favorites in Niji Sanji. He didn't apologize because it wasn't public knowledge until Raziel started speaking out and brought the receipts with it. And if she hadn't, glad she did, he would have continued to get away with it. But now it's just out there that Niji Mems have dated and she and he's the source. I doubt he has much of a future left sans the favoritism clause. I'm starting to really wonder why it specifically had to be said. Thank you again, Charlie Spur. It's not a disorder. It's not classified as such in the DSM. And if it does not cause the stress, it cannot be classified as such. It's atypical. See, that, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. It's atypical. I thank you for co the correction, Charlie Spur. Thank you for the actual uh, mention of it from the DSM. It is uh, because the DSM, for those that don't know, is basically the book, the handbook that uh, psychologists and psychology goes goes by when they're talking about um, things that aren't typical. What should be marked as a disorder? Charlie Spur donated five dollars through Super Chat. It's not a disorder. It's not classified as such in the DSM. And if it does not cause distress, it cannot be classified as such. It's atypical only. And yet, thank you for the, again, Charlie. Thank you for the super chat again. And what they mean by that is that in the DSM, you're classified as a disorder, as atypical, as that type of thing. When it's distressing, it's a disorder. When it's when it's like actual, like for example, um, you would have anxiety, social anxiety disorder. That's why it's a disorder because that social anxiety is causing you so much distress that you cannot function outside. Boy, do I know about that one. Boy, do I know about that one. Um. And, you know, things like chronic depressive disorder, which is another thing that I have. That's also a disorder. It, they all can be treated. If you're all under treatment for those things, then great. As I am. Being under treatment for those things, I know that disorders can be debilitating. Very debilitating. But also, you can rise above it and not have it be such a a, a drain, a, a, an anchor on your life. Because he is profit, I think he makes more money than Doki did. Probably. He's 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 part of Luxium, the Golden Boy group, honestly. Saruki is Don Corleone, pretty much. Yakuza level CEO meeting where Luca and Luxium meet with Riku at a fancy dinner. And they're the only ones that went to a fancy dinner. Remember, it was leaked it was leaked weeks ago that Luxium was taking a fancy dinners. And it was leaked uh now with Raziel, basically verified by Luca himself that they went to fancy dinners and they were treated specially. 
When you have a lot of clauses in the contracts, not because you mean to enforce clauses equally, it's because you want large menu to nitpick from. That is very true. So that's what they want. Nidhi Sanji wants that large menu to nitpick from. I wants that large, large contract that they can be like, oh, well, you messed up this part, clause 55 of part 32 on page 59 or something of your contract. You messed this part up. Yes, we put it in, in font 4, size 4, where you can barely read it unless you have a magnifying glass. But it's still there, so you you should you should you know be angry about that. Riku was trying to raise Luxium, cause like you're making me money, so I'm gonna make you feel special. So I'm going to give you all this fancy stuff that costs that I am still going to be able to expense. By the way, yes, as a business owner, as a CEO, that fancy dinner he can fully expense it. From the the Niri Sanji is gonna expense it, which means. It wasn't directly out of his own pocket. It was out of company funds and they could expense it. So they get a tax write off for it. So it was like, it, it was a free dinner pretty much for like on Riku's, and as far as Riku's concerned, because it was like a loan against himself pretty much. Riku trying to raise Lexemius and Fumoto, also the manager who denied Pomo's dream collab. He, Fumoto, if I'm not mistaken, he's the one from EN. He's the one specifically who's in charge of EN. And he's the one who said if it wasn't for EN, he would be out of a job. And he said, thank you to Yen for doing such a good job because if it wasn't for Yen, he would no longer be there. That's Fumoto, if I'm not mistaken. If you make more money, you should get more dinners. I don't have a problem with that. I don't like equal enforcement of the rules. I don't like equal unequal enforcement either. I don't like unequal enforcement. JP government isn't helping. Yeah, the JP government is helping the stock prices. That's why it hasn't dropped below like 2,500. It's keeping like a, a, a bottom floor for it. I wouldn't put it past current golden livers maybe dating their managers from the branch i mean you never know it's never good to dip your your pen in company ink that is the rule that is the steadfast rule you should always have never dip your pen in company ink which means don't date somebody don't bang somebody from your company not good because when things go south you may no longer be able to work there because all of a sudden someone's going to be claiming harassment against you you know of the sexual kind they're going to be claiming abuse from you of the sexual kind and others and you're screwed because let me just say in today's society, in public discourse, like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, a woman claims something, you're screwed. The moment she claims it, even if you have proof against it, the moment a cute woman or a woman with a cute voice claims that you are this or that or the other is the moment you lost. Because that is the moment that public opinion is going to turn against you. Why? Because, well... Some women, not all of them, know how to play the victim. Know how to play the. I'll, I'll, I'll read it right now. Know how to play the victim card really well. They know how to victim make themselves the victim really well, and they have people behind them who see them as the victim, uh, who, for parasocial reasons or other things, they do that. So I know that as a man, I'm screwed. If ever a woman comes and speaks out about me, even about simple things, then yes, I'm screwed because the court of public opinion will turn on you so fast. Need you looking real whack, like whacker? Yes. Always read the fine print. Don't stick your dick in crazy. Exactly. That's what you say. That's that. That's what the thing is that is said, Lunar. So true. Several of them, they're liars. But you should believe accusations unless there's proof against it. Exactly. Women claiming something shouldn't have to go to polygraph to pay defamation. A lot of times, honestly, look. In certain cases, it's better to be safe than sorry. When it comes to, you know, the R word allegations. When it comes to. The, the allegations of the sexual kind, it's better to be safe than sorry. It really is. Um, it is not in any way, shape, or form good to be like you lie and you lie until we can prove that you're true. It's basically innocent till proven guilty, of course, as a court of law is the way it's supposed to be, but also give the person the benefit of the doubt when they can prove themselves. If it's just, no, no, he did it, and he did it because I said he did it, eh, you know that's not going to turn out so well. Uh, I can understand throwing more resources at your most profitable, but it's weird how they don't, they didn't offer it before until I believe the timeline after box complaint and merch cut. Yeah, when they were complaining about the AR Live, that's the, apparently to kind of quell them. That's what I, what I heard, what I remember from the document. It's also dangerous for non-Japanese women, like the case of the former uh, Mrs. Nippon, who was Ukrainian. Yes, it's very dangerous. The court of public opinion don't need evidence. The court of law does. Even if the victim is cleared, they're still marked. Yes, if you ever have those accusations, you will always, always have at least one person out there 
and a group of people usually out there who will see you as the aggressor, see you as the one in the wrong, and you're never going to shake it. No matter how much evidence you have against that, you're never going to shake that. And as screw that, I doubt everyone, uh, I'm not the court of, as I write to my opinion, I support the polygraph victims. I mean, yeah, I mean, the thing, the issue with polygraph though is, is that polygraph has been proven to be, um, unreliable recently. I don't, I, I don't know if it's because of the people who do it or it's because the machines are getting old or whatever, but in the court of law, polygraph, a lot of times will not, um, have as much sway as like a victim statement or something like that. But he had the effing receipts. Exactly. Exactly. Raziel had the effing receipts. There are false allegations, but not many next to the level of actual abuse. False accusations are terrible. Yes. They are. Because they destroy lives. People have game-ended themselves because of false accusations. Because their life was never the same. Family left them. Friends left them. Even when they were proven to be false allegations. Friends left them. Family left them. Close confidants left them. People they cared about left them. Society around them sees them as a pervert and things like that. That is bad. That is really bad. And it has happened where people have game ended themselves. And the person who did it is just scot free. Like nothing happened. Just remember, believe the evidence. Polygraph is not accurate enough. Polygraph is unreliable. Even the criminal courts don't use them. They're fine for trashy daytime talk shows. And also, the police use them for trying to get confessions. Police use them for trying to get confessions. They still are used in police departments nowadays. Polys rely on signs that can be common in neurodivergent and other people. The things like anxiety disorders. Like me. Me with my, look, with my extreme anxiety disorder that I have. With my neurodivergent self. With all the other things I have. I remember my psychologist. I asked them one time. I was like, um, you know, if I were ever forced, forced to take a polygraph test. Because I, I, I was like, I was curious about them. I, when I was younger, I was like 18. I was curious about them. It's like, I'm curious about polygraph tests. Just kind of, you know, we were talking to get to know each other. It's like, what do you think about them? Um, she read my chart. She read everything that I have. And she's like, people like you should I never. never. Polygraphs have never been admissible in court. Yeah, they haven't been. She said, you should never, ever take a polygraph test. You yourself should never take a polygraph test. Number one, she said they're unreliable. Number two, you would fail immediately. No matter if you were, you, you could, you could say that your name is your name and you had this name since birth and you would fail because of your anxiety. You, you, you're like, you're already sweating being in front of me for the first time. <laughs> you would fail immediately because sweat levels are one of those things that they take as anxiety and sweat levels are one of those things that they take that someone is lying. She's like, you would have already failed the polygraph test. And I know what your name is. And I would have asked you this and you would have failed it because of the fact you're already sweating in front of me because you're so anxious. Uh, let's see. Rabble Roser, the court of public opinion used to public polygraph is not actual court. It's public. Yeah, it can help in public opinion. It definitely can. But for neurodivergent people with me that have anxiety and all those other things, uh, I fail immediately. Like I would. Like I would fail immediately. Like I'm going to tell you the truth. I have told you guys this like three or four times already. Before I get on stream, an hour or so before, or even the day, like the whole time before I'm on stream, my stomach is killing me. I'm My anxiety is through the roof and I'm not doing well. <laughs> Once I'm on stream, I'm able to distract and I'm able to get away from that. And it's, it's like a bit of, you know, like just chill. It's a chill moment for me. But before I get on stream, oh my God, I have to take like Pepto and all that kind of stuff because I'm all, I'm all like nervous and just like, oh, I'm, I, I, I am a mess before I get on stream. They can give false positives and false negatives too. Exactly. If a person, here's the thing. If a person is a sociopath, if a person is a psychopath slash sociopath, they will pass a polygraph test. They absolutely will. Because they don't feel anything. They don't feel that anxiety. What they feel is that excitement. Yes, but they don't feel that anxiety. So they wouldn't fail the polygraph test. They would pass it. The new ones got adjusted to baseline. Okay. Uh, you would have definitely been failing as they put the thing on your finger. Oh, yeah. I would have been sweating just being in that room. I would have been like, it's out of here. You know, immediately they would have thought I was freaking, I was already like, you know, guilty of whatever they were thinking I was. You wouldn't fail once your baseline is established. Only things above baseline would register as lies. Okay. 
But what if I suddenly calmed down or I suddenly got extremely anxious? You know, that kind of thing. It's like, it's a weird thing. But yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Let me get a little bit different with you guys. I don't talk to police. I don't comment on anything for the police. Those in authority, I give them all that they need legally. I give them all that is legally required of me. Like if I'm driving, I'll give them my license, my registration, etc. If they ask me where I'm going, I say I do not answer questions, officer. With all due respect, I do not answer questions. Beyond getting this and this and that, that's all you're going to get from me. And one time I had an officer at a, at a traffic stop because I did uh, pass a yellow light, but he said I passed a red light. At a traffic stop, they asked me, you know, it's like, did you know you passed the red light? It's like, I don't answer questions, officer. Here's my my ID. Here's my registration. Here's my proof of insurance. Um, I can answer questions that I'm legally required to answer, I said. And it's like, oh, are you a sovereign citizen? It's like, no, I'm a citizen of California, of the United States. And I am a uh, resident of my state. And, you know, I, I, I swore the oath of citizenship to the United States when I was born. I was born here. And it's like, oh, okay. So you're one of those people. It's like, yeah, I defend my rights. That's just it. And I, I have respect for you guys, but I just defend my rights. He went back. He gave me a ticket and everything like that. He didn't talk to me much after that because I didn't. I was. He knew I wasn't going to answer any questions. But no, I don't believe in the sovereign citizen movement. I don't believe in any of that kind of crap. I just know my rights. There's an idea of Patrick Bateman, some kind of abstraction, but there's no real me, only an identity, an entity, something illusory. And although I can hide my cold gaze, you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours. Maybe you can even sense your lifestyles are probably comparable. I'm simply not there. Yeah. I must be a psychopath feeling nothing for any need, you so-called victim. Well, I mean, here's the thing. You're not a psychopath, Sketch. What it is, is no number one, a lot of people, not just you, don't really care about people who are outside of their their their, their zone. In the sense of, it, they'll be like, damn, that sucks. But it won't affect them in their lives. And that's perfectly fine. The only thing I say is, if you feel no empathy for anybody, then you might be neuro neurodivergent in a certain way. If you don't feel empathy for family, if you don't feel actual empathy, not fake empathy or anything, for family, for like children, for dogs, for, you know, empathy for animals and things like that, that is a whole different thing. Now, if you don't feel sympathy for somebody because they have done things to damage themselves, that is totally different. You know, there are no victims in India that are all victimizers. Sociopaths and psychopaths scare me in a way. They do scare me because they could just be your, your neighbor next door. I mean... Look at the psychopaths that we know right now of like Ted Bundy and those type of people. Like you wouldn't have known them. They would have just been the, maybe a slightly quirky uh, next door neighbor, but they would have been next door neighbor, you know? Well, police sometimes are too aggressive. Over here, they're too aggressive. And I'm a person of color, so they're definitely too aggressive with me. Absolutely too aggressive with me. They've always been that way. And people of color in the, 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 the police force have been the ones that have been more aggressive with me than the white people, strangely enough. You can learn empathy, but people need to try. Exactly. Like any animal who's been to dogs, sister effing hates dogs. I can understand people not liking dogs because sometimes dogs can be aggressive. Dogs can be, you know, whatever it is. So continuing on. But now it's out there that Niji Mems have dated and she's a source. I doubt much of future. Left sans the favoritism clause and all those things that follow that. And right here, it's they're up to 71% wanting to sell. That is insane. Never in my life have I needed something so much and never known until I received it. This is what they're talking about it. This is in the Yahoo Japan article, the Yahoo Japan areas for Niji Sanji. 71% want to sell that are there that have a stock that are, you know, known to have a stock that I guess are kind of, you know, authenticated as having a stock. 71% want to sell. 29% of the people who don't have a stock want to buy. So, of course, as we know, the Japanese stock market, the Nikon, uh, the Nippon stock exchange, is not letting people sell too much because they're taking it as like a a uh, you know, short sell, etc. So they're not letting people sell, which is keeping artificially keeping the stock high, which is something that they're doing as a regulatory measure to make sure that people don't pump and dump. And just leave all the stock when it's, you know, getting to a point that they want to and just be done. Or if you're trying to, you know, do margin buying and margin selling where it's like option selling where like uh, you're saying it's going to drop by this much by this time. And I'm selling then and then you get benefit from that. They don't want that either because it's going to affect the stock badly. It being a large multi-billion dollar and trillion dollar yen in this corporation, trillion yen corporation. They do not want that to negatively affect the stock market. 
or the economy overall. I can understand that point. There will be a translation error. Stupid Google translations. Please see the original comment that was written in Japanese or go below to the link. Um, the translation is fairly accurate. I mean, fairly. It's machine translation, so it's okay. Takes further advice. I ran the comment very deep out and the result is below. So this is the result. Luke has been a scandal ridden man who deserved to be fired before, but has never apologized. The reason for the special treatment was a mystery, but now we know from leaked emails that Luca is a personal benefactor of the executive director's foot. Luca is a man whose very existence is evidence of favoritism and corruption. So that is the, um, the deep L version of it, which is, you know, another one that I use. I use the Google translate and deep L JP fans highlighted specifically on the mention of the DM screenshot. Of Fumoto, the one who said if Luxium didn't succeed, I'll be fired. Since now he has been promoted and in charge of larger projects, they are just afraid that this person is actually incompetent because he relied on outsiders to boost his career. The Razio Warmonic emails, of course, as we know, and the DMs and everything. So this is still not a good look for Nidhi Sanji. It looks like the investors want to go. And that is what I have to say about this one. It's a kebab. You don't understand. It's like lions and hyenas. It's effing hate on sight with her. She could see a nice, sweet, and pure golden retriever being an effing dork, and she'd, uh, she'd just, uh, stop. Yeah. No, I, I get that. I get that. We need to have police who know their communities and care about more people. Community policing was a thing that they tried in the 90s. It didn't work too well because, I'll just say it, a lot of police in my area are way too aggressive. They're, like, on roid rage all the time. Uh, they see us as the enemy. And of course, when they treat us like the enemy, us as in the people in my in my neighborhood, uh, people of color, etc. When they treat us like the enemy, they will be seen as such. When they, when I'm just walking down the street or driving my car, and then I'm leaving my neighborhood, they think I did a drug deal, and then they stop me, just because I left my neighborhood. That is when I get pissed off. That is when I get pissed off. When I am just leaving my neighborhood, because I'm here, they think I did a drug deal for some reason. And they stop me. I'm pissed off. I I don't cooperate. I don't cooperate. I I'm like you're gonna have to get you know some you get your dog here get whatever but you ain't gonna get shit. And and I I, I lie to them. I lie to them. It's like oh believe me, I know the signals that you guys can use to make a dog false identify. I know that. So don't try that shit. And they get the dog. The dog doesn't show anything. And then I leave. And um. I'm pissed off because the dog has scratched my car because of course the dog is going to scratch your car because it has has nails and they make it go on like your your they, they make it go up on your fender they make it go up on your window they make it go up on all these things my, my car scratched now because a freaking dog is on there was on there um and i'm pissed off i leave i don't say anything to the officer i'm just gone uh let's see i'm glad i live in canada where police are not like that depends if you're a native if you're native peoples in Canada, I've heard they don't treat them too nicely either. Uh, squirrel, give me 30 milligrams. They're 30 grams of them nuts. You can get these nuts. Uh, uh, by these nuts, of course, I mean cashews and almonds and all that other fancy stuff. All that good stuff. So, of course, there's always some type of news going on. <clears throat> always some type of craziness doing thingy. Thingy, thingy, thingy. And yeah, the rest of the stuff that I've, like, talked about before, Nidhi Sanji wants you to post here. Yeah, uh, I agree that uh, Nidhi Sanji would want you to post just on Kudo Sanji. Because it's a, it's a smaller community. It's a smaller audience. It's less people there. So, less eyes on their bad stuff. Fumoto at this point is a leech banking Luxium to stay Nidhi longer without Luxium Fumoto might resign and go broker. Says, uh, you consider moving to a different state or something? I like my state. I just don't like the cops. But the thing is, most of the states in the United States, the way I am, the way I look, I'll get worse treatment, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Those investors who will leave, um, you don't understand, uh, it's like lions and hyenas. It's effing hate on sight with her. Oh, yeah, I already saw that one. Uh, those investors who leave may open to Chinese investors to invest in Nidhi Sanji. They will open CN auditions. Yeah, I, if they try a hollow, uh, hollow live CN type of thing, which is Niji Sanji CN type of thing, they're going to learn how bad it is. Because here's one thing a lot of people don't know. Uh, or a lot of you do know, but a lot of people around, you know, this this community don't know. I just got home from a four-hour wrestling event, and my favorite blue squirrel is on. Thank you so much, Chris McCarty. I do appreciate each and every one of you who show up, the regulars. I do appreciate that. 
Are you down for Cards Against Humanity later? Loki's hosting? Yeah, we can do that. We can do some of that. We can definitely do some of that, Ami. Ran out of almonds? Damn. Well, no, I can get some almonds. I can get some salted almonds for you. Or just regular almonds if you want those. Sure, cashews. In my country, they want to bribe you. Let the Oh, if you bribe, you, they can pass. There, there are many who are that way, yes. Um, what I was going to mention, what a lot of people don't know, is I was a part of, um, not like a big, like high end or anything, high part, but I was a part of DreamWorks animation. Yeah, the same DreamWorks that did Hide Your Train Your Pet Dragon, who did Kung Fu Panda, who did all those things. I was a part of DreamWorks animation. I was in the IT department. I was fixing computers, making sure the computers had uptime and all that kind of stuff. It was like, we try to keep like some like 99% uptime or 90 something percent uptime. We try to, as long as people were working, we try to keep the uptime going. Um, luckily, a lot of the machines that people use were $10,000, $15,000 um, uh, HP, you know, humongous servers, like actual like server towers. They were because they had to process a lot of information. They had really good um, uh, graphics cards, all that kind of stuff. A lot of cops in the U.S. are often aren't well, very background checked. Like some states won't even name them specifically, but someone only check if the police got their certs. Exactly. Talks about almonds and see how the squirrel perks up real quick. I do. I perk up about almonds. Yes, I do. Uh, but I can't drink. I can't drink almond milk. T man. Yeah, I'm like 47% native. They do they do do that, and it sucks. I really I really feel bad that they do that uh, to the native peoples. That's why, like for example, over here in reservations or you know their areas, they have native police. They have police f specifically for those areas because it's a different community. It's a different culture overall, and you need people within the community to be the ones that are policing the community. Not outsiders, you know, but I was what I was trying to get to with DreamWorks. DreamWorks at one time had uh, a studio in China because they were trying to, you know, spread. They were trying to spread out and China was a very profitable place to spread out, especially for, you know, getting things animated and making. And remember, one thing you have to remember that a lot of people also don't know. In order to make a movie in China, like a movie that will show in China, you have to have like either part of it uh done in china or have part of your studio have at least a china subsidiary at least in animation it was like that back then i don't know if they've changed it but basically in order to have a like get a lot of money in china in order to be able to be a part of that market you needed to have the ccp be a part of your organization in some way shape or form in the part of dreamworks i got double boxed by t-man and then in the way of dreamworks they had a Chinese subsidiary, same thing with Hololife, had a Chinese subsidiary where they would have headquartered there. The CCP would have at least one manager be a part of it. And they would restrict what you can do. They would restrict what kind of animations you can have. You can't have the whole, you know, South China Sea thing being in any part of it. All those things. Uh, you, have to, you have to follow the politics of the nation uh, because if you're going to make money, that's what you have to do. Uh, I'm not sure if DreamWorks has ever pulled out of there. I mean, I haven't really checked, but when I was there, they, they, it was going strong. Um, we did often have visitors from China, uh, to, you know, talk to the higher ups and such, but that was like Chinese businessmen. That was also, you know, people like, uh, from the department, from the, the, the location come just to see how we do things over here in the U S you know, that type of thing. Localizing is a pain in the ass. It is, it is. Salvos unarchived. Yes, Salvi's unarchived. Yes, we're going to have an unarchived uh, karaoke eventually. Yes, we are. Thank you all for your support. I really do thank you for your support. Fox Coon! Uh, let's see. Uh, police officers have to deal with a lot of S. Criminals are the ones I had no sympathy for. Um, yeah, I mean, it depends. It depends. I just have, because of my experiences with police, I have my reservations. I will treat them with respect because they deserve to be treated with respect. Um, it is something that sh that is deserved by anybody. Um, and it is something that, of course, I will respect fully. Oh, now there's more. There's more on the Any Color Stock Bulletin thing. But wait, there's more about Any Color Stock Bulletin on Luca Scandal. About four hours ago, a woman who had a grudge against Luca made a scandal with an image. It's non-stop at all. It seems that you want to stab Ian. 
Then this one goes. They all get smaller as time goes on. Holy crap, they're all tiny. And I'm going to take a look at each and every one of them. If you want to get excited with a summary site-like story, there will be more suitable commentary. This person says, it's a good thing to have a live performance, but there's too much worse news here. If Lucas' case is true, it's a scam, and it's an information leak, and it's pretty bad. There's a Japanese translation of the full text of the accusation on a site called P2Y. Ignoring this is no-brainer, Mr. Enikara. I read the source article, but it's a difficult sentence. If you don't mind, could you summarize it? Luca is a scandal-ridden man, and that's the one that we read about him being a scandal-ridden man, who deserves to be fired for a long time, but he has never even apologized. The reason for the special treatment was a mystery, but now we know from the leaked emails, Luca was a personal benefactor of the executive officer. The very existence of Luca as proof is proof of favoritism and corruption. Then next, I've seen the accusations related to Luca, and if true, it seems that there are a problematic behavior in and of itself. As far as I've read the contents, the sense of filthy talk and quarrel is amazing. And this is a Japanese translation of the sentence that is said to be an information leak. It is not surprising that the content is sent to an unspecified number of people, so it's unclear if it's a personal benefactor. To be honest, I bet everything on EN. If EN hadn't succeeded, I would have been fired. That's why I'm so grateful for your cooperation and on a daily basis. Takataka Roku. I guess it's, it's a, the FOMO guy. And here's another one. Here's the original tweet. When I saw it an hour ago, I was able to check the contents, but it seems I can't read it because of a violation of terms of use. As for the autograph message signature that comes with the product, there's a screenshot of the exchange in the process of requesting a substitute and a video recording in the drawing process. And the completed autograph is definitely true, considering that there's no difference of one pixel from one sold. In other words, Luca's fans were scammed. Yes, because it was Raziel who did it, not Luca. So they were scammed in thinking that Luca actually did it because Luca was being a bit lazy in that situation. And he has been caught basically with all of this. Man, it would be pretty nice if freaking Yahoo Japan was accessible by us Westerners too. They better be not because it's black, white, and Asian 400 pound panda might be sitting on their faces. Bulletin is still up right here. I find it interesting that abroad people are most upset about the contract violation. In JP, it seems like they're more mad about the fact that he didn't make his own merch voice pack scripts. Therefore, he scammed his fans. Just an interesting note on the values of two audiences. Yes. Over here, it's all the other stuff that he did. Over there, it's the fact that his contract, which was, you know, doing all these things, he didn't do it. It was a scam. That's what they don't like. Both are correct. And both still look really bad for Luca. What did you say, Charlie? Number one crime in America is disrespecting a police officer. That will end your life. That will absolutely risk your life. You will absolutely risk your life with that. Now, as you guys, Luca is a Nepo child from the benefactor alone. Yes, if the Chinese cash cow tactic is their next move, Niji's most likely to have Weibo, Weibo Ataxia uh, accounts. Weibo accounts. Oh. Planned for Niji merch and for Vox plus Luca. If those two think they can fool the CN audience by hiding their laundry. Well, there's a lot of police. Yeah, a lot of police are doing a lot of bad things. Luca is a Nepo child from that benefactor alone. Luca has kids. No, not Luca having kids. Luca is a nep nepotistic child. This basically means nepotism got him in. Basically, someone has favoritism and got him in that way. Uh, that's what it means. Who's Raziel? I've been mixing up Raziel and Ru Ruxia. No, Raziel is the former friend and former mod of Luca Kaneshiro. Who is now in, um, who was Java before, but Luca Kanashiro now, who is in uh, Luxium of Nidhi Sanji. Yeah. Oh, God, there we go. Luca, a Nepo hire too. It, looks, it sounds like it from what they're saying. Um, oh, you meant Raziel, yes. I thought I was typing somewhere else. You thought you were typing somewhere else? No, you're typing here. Isn't, isn't there Raziel in the Twitch chat? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, no, yeah, Exile Raziel. Yes, there is. There's Exile Raziel. Uh, but I'm talking about Raziel Warmonic. I'm talking about Raziel Warmonic, the person that is on, on Twitch. Does Luca literally have no skills? Sounds like he was literally unable to put together a PowerPoint and Raziel had to do it for him. Looks like he has no skills when it comes to uh, Twitch stuff, when it comes to creating even his, um, even his uh, thumbnails. Like, none of them, not even the wording and everything, it seems like it was done by everyone else. And that's, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing that happens. And, um, like me, I, I do my stuff on Canva. Yes, I do very simple things. Like you see, I put the Nidhi Sanji liver. I put, it's on a black, on a black background. And I put contrasting colors, whether it be red, blue, or whatever, as the, the words. Very simple, easy to do. Anyone can do it. And I've seen others do it all the time. 
and it's simple. It's simple and it works. So that's why that's why I use it. Uh, the the pictures that I use, I try to get something different from everyone else. Sometimes they're going to be the same picture because you can find the very few actual good pictures out there, like good high quality pictures or drawings of the people that aren't NSFW. Like a lot of the good ones are NSFW. And um, I mean, I understand because like I said, I am not good at, at, at graphic design. Um, but like, like also, I'll let, I'll let it read it for you first. Charlie Spur donated $5 through Super Chat. Does Luca literally have no skills? Sounds like he was literally unable to put together a PowerPoint and Raziel had to do it for him. Like when I, when I debuted years ago, I had a PowerPoint, a crappy PowerPoint, but I had a PowerPoint. I tried, you know, I do, I do my streams. Like I do my background I do all that kind of stuff. I try. Um, when I can't do it, I do commission others. That is just the way it works. I'm not good at art. I'm not good at graphic design. So I, I have other people I can, I can trace if, which anyone can trace anyone who has any kind of control over their movements can trace, but, uh, it wouldn't be fair to trace someone else's art. So I commission, I commission, uh, when I can, not all the time I commission when I can, like I recently commissioned a, um, a reference sheet for myself. What's up, Lunar Fox? Um, I, you know, commissioned emotes for the Twitch chat and also the, some of the emotes you're seeing in, like, if you're a member, those are also commissioned emotes because I'll be damned if I could do it. Now, what I did do is the movement one here. I took... Uh, I don't have the movement one here, but I have the movement one on um, on the Twitch side, which basically I have one, you know, the, the regular one that has the, uh, the the glow sticks. There's one that has the glow sticks. So I just had the, glow, the one that has glow sticks in front of me. What I had to do there is I had to painstakingly because of the way that the, 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 the Photoshop thing was done. Um, originally, you know, the, the way that the person did it, he didn't do layers. So I had to painstakingly make the layers. I had to remove... The hands and the glow sticks from the face, because they were right in front of my face. I had to recreate what was underneath the glow sticks. So I had to use some drawing and stuff like that. That took forever since I'm not good at drawing. But I had to recreate the color, the shadows, the uh, where, like, for example, some of it covered, like, one of my eyes. Um, all of that stuff, I had to recreate it. Because in order for things to move in Photoshop, you have to recreate what's behind the things that you want to move so that you will have like a face behind it if it's something covering your face. So that took me several hours to do, um, but I was able to do it. And then I had to uh, like basically because I, because I had to cut out the the hands with the glow sticks. Then I had to recreate everything underneath, like I mentioned, then put the glow sticks back as a separate layer and then animate that layer, which wasn't easy. I had to, of course, I had to look for a tutorial because I'm not good at that. Yeah, that one. That one that you use right now, Blue Milk, that's the one that I edited and created because I did not have the money to make to because it, it's more money. It's more money to get them to move. It's more expensive to get them to move. So I had to create it myself. The base image. I didn't even have the base image in my face. I just had that in front of my face that way. So um, the movement, I had to get it to move myself. I had to get the, the size and everything correct. So yeah, I do put in work for my stuff, but it is it is definitely like 10 times longer than someone who knows what the hell they're doing, honestly. And yeah, it's going to be that way. It's of course going to be that way. Any lever forced to post on Weibo is already doxed the China side. It definitely is true. You're, you get doxed immediately. Uh, it's very apparent those left with needed EN aren't the ones who made the old thumbnails and art. Lol, I still can't believe you're an IT guy and can't do PowerPoint. Um... Because that's not, well, IT, unless I'm a manager, unless I'm like supervisor, manager, etc. I never had to touch PowerPoint as IT um, because like the artists already knew how to do all that kind of stuff because I was working, remember, as um, IT in like, for example, in DreamWorks, there, almost everyone else that works there was more talented at PowerPoint and presentations and uh, art and all that kind of stuff than I was. So they'd never need my help for that. What they would need my help for is if PowerPoint isn't opening, if PowerPoint isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing, 
if it's going, you know, if it's if it's losing data, that kind of stuff is what the, I, I would need help for. You have other models. I mean, yeah, I have I have other models. I have uh, one that is um, that is just uh, a suit, uh, not a suit, but like a, a a dress shirt. I have one that is like a skeleton sty style that I use for Halloween. I have those type of things. Anyone compare Luca's current schedules to his previous ones yet? I don't think anyone has. Yeah, IT rarely uses PowerPoint. IT doesn't. Yeah, it's more like merchandising that does. Like anyone who does uh, sales, any of that type of stuff, they use PowerPoint a lot. Um, or maybe even Google Docs at this point. But I've had to touch PowerPoint all the time because I had to fix things for people that broke their PowerPoints. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I've had to do that. Yes, I've had to do that. But, um, like... I know the tools and I know certain ways to fix things, making it like a really, really nice looking PowerPoint. I'm going to, I have to look it up. I always have to look up tutorials because I don't use it in everyday life. Uh, yes, I do understand like in businesses. Yes. Sometimes you do have to do it for when you are uh, like the, the lead for when they're doing marketing or whatever it is, you know? Uh, let's see. Uh, you got lucky. Show Booba. Show Booba. Oh yeah. There's that Booba one too. Booba, what did I miss? Oh, God. Okay, you guys are calling for the Booba one. Before we leave, before we leave for the night, I will switch to the Booba for you. I will switch to the Booba for you before we leave the night. Because it's getting to that time, peoples. It's getting to that time. I have a uh, family that wants to eat. As always, I always try to eat dinner. It's a late dinner that we eat, but we, especially on the weekends, we try to eat like a, I don't know, I think we're having Chinese today. So I do want to try to eat something with them. Hopefully, it will work out. Hopefully we'll, I'll be able to eat. Uh, and you know, it's getting close to nine o'clock. So I do want to eat before they go to sleep. You know what I mean? You can't throw something at my face when I'm gone. See, that's the thing. There we are. See, that's, that's the female form. That's the female form that I have. And I'll, I'll, I'll redeem the ones that you threw. Both were fish, of course, because I look like a cat now. This one looks more like a cat. I, I haven't gotten the tail done because, well, I don't have the money to get the tail done. And the ears are a little too pointy. I, I don't know. This was this was a friend of mine that tried to do it for me. Is my debut on YouTube or is it private? I mean, I could I could we could watch my old my old debut. We can watch my old debut of my old character. Um, wait, we got booba model. Yee, stupid ADHD brain. We got a booba model. Yes, we do. Ow, head pat her. Oh yeah, we can we can head pat. We can head pat. We can head pat. I'll let you hold my hand and we can do other little things, but I need my head pats on each hand. Yes, of course, the head pats. I'll let you hold my hand. Again, and we can it's do done. Other little things, but I need my head pats on each hand. Just wait till I get paid. <laughs> I appreciate it, T Man. Uh, came for the drama, stayed for the booba? Probably. Good night, resident bo rodent boy. Yeah, resident boy. Yes, I'm keeping the typo. <laughs> of course, you. I don't mind the typos. We'll, we'll get, we're going to end on this one, I guess. Um, yes, you can head pat. You can definitely head pat. Uh, this one doesn't have a tail. I, I definitely want a tail for this one because I don't want them to say I'm a cat girl because I don't, I don't, I don't want to be a cat girl. I want to be a, if I'm, if I'm still going to be doing this, I want to be a, uh, a rodent girl, if that's possible. But I don't know how to do the tail. That's the thing. I don't know how to do the tail. Like, a, a, a fluffy tail that'll move. So I'm probably going to have to pay someone to do a fluffy tail that'll move. It's an emo girl! Well, look, I didn't... Well, here, here's a story behind this one. There's a story behind this one. I didn't ask for one, but one of my friends who was learning uh, V-Roid, he was like, well, she was like, let me... Can I experiment with your, your model and make it a female? I'm like, go right ahead. I was like, can you do the tail? She's like, she's like no, I can't do the tail. I'm like, it's, it's okay. I'm probably never going to use it anyways. And here I am. But uh, that's what happened. She wanted to make it. I was like, all right, cool. Uh, I'm going to make it. Uh, like, I'll give you the... And this is a lot of trust, by the way. To give someone your VRM is a lot of trust. Uh, so I gave them my VRM. They went and did it. And here it is. And of course, I'm going to... I use it every once in a while. Because why not? Uh, let's see. Debut, scroll. Look at the numbers grow. Just kidding. Oh, God. If the, if the numbers got to like 200 right now just because I had a girl in there, then that would prove my theory. Ah, this will be a game theory. We'll look at this. We'll take a look at this because we got we're done with the uh, the Nidhi Sanji stuff for now. We'll take a look at this and then we'll we'll while we're taking a look at this. Oh, Kota Kotonia on Twitter, you're valid in how you identify. 
Feminine men don't have to be trans. It's okay not to push them to identify as such. That's nice. That's very true. You don't have to force them to identify as anything. Um, they'll identify whatever the hell they want to. They can identify as a freaking plate if they want to. I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, that, that's the part on that end. And of course, what I want to do, what I really want to do right now. Tell me what you want, what you really would want. No, I shouldn't really do that. I shouldn't really, shouldn't really ever sing that song ever, ever again. But um, what I want to do right now is very simple. What I want to do, there we go, is trying to see what I can uh, find for someone for us to go to. What question was that, Kebab? I bec I become a girl. Yes, I become a girl, apparently. Are you going to take a break from streaming tomorrow? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm probably not. Even though it's Easter Sunday and it's, you know, all, all that fancy stuff. I'm probably going to have a family day during the morning. Uh, I'm going to try to still put out a video. It's the grind. It's the daily grind. Daily, daily, daily grind. Of course, I'm going to try to put out a video. Um, but I'm still going to be streaming at night. And, you know, we're going to see what happens. We will see what happens, my dudes. Uh, I wonder. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I'll do. Because uh, look, if you guys want to take a break and you guys don't want to watch anything tomorrow, then that'll be that'll be fine with me. I'll have no issue with that at all. But I'm probably just gonna keep streaming, just for the heck of it. It's always has been. Um, but yeah, uh, I want to see if I can send you guys to somebody, a small VTuber, somebody. Uh, because yes, I can send you to one of the larger VTubers, but they already have a ton of people. And a lot of times when you send people to larger VTubers, they appreciate it, but they also think that you're doing it for clout. They also think that you're doing it for uh, more, you know, people being in your space, more people being in your stuff. So um, I want to see if there's anybody that I watch then there is, right now there isn't there actually quite literally isn't um but if there's anybody that you watch that you want me to go to let me know gonna be here tomorrow hopefully have this for myself i'll take a look at it um do you guys have somebody that you want to send me to because if not i'll send you to sayu synchronicity if you guys are fine being sent to sayu i'll send you to sayu um if you guys want me to send be to send you somewhere else we'll send you somewhere else um you know, it's just whatever you guys want. You guys let me know. And as you let me know, I will let you know that I do thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Charlie Spur, for the support you've given me today. It means a lot. I am a tiny channel, and it does mean a lot to get any support whatsoever. So I really do appreciate that. I really appreciate the watch. I appreciate everything that you guys have been doing for me because, well, like I said, you guys help me with my, with my neurodivergent side a lot. It helps calm my neurodivergent side a lot. Um, thank you, Odom. Thank you for the 100 bits. You too, Kebab. Odin MVT just cheered 100 bits. Cheer 100. I will listen to the Spyro music. Thank you, thank you, Odom v MVT. Uh, we can change back. Yeah, we can change back for the, the other thing that we were doing. Um, we could definitely change back. Let's go. Let's switch back to... Listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. What's going on? Another ferret? I don't know. Uh, you should raid blue ferret underscore. Okay, blue ferret underscore. We'll take a look at them. Let me take a look. Blue ferrets underscore. They are live. And yeah. Yeah, you know what? Small VTubers unite. Absolutely support each other. They're playing Sea of Thieves. I think it would be interesting on the Twitch side. This is just the Twitch side. This is not the YouTube side. Like I said, if you guys have someone that you would recommend on the YouTube side, let me know. Uh, last time with Sayu, just saying, yo, yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do, like, we didn't actually, like, the last time I actually wanted to send someone to somebody, it, it was an actual, like, last stream was somebody uh, that was a small streamer. The stream before that, which was in the morning, was nobody. And the stream before that, I believe, was Sayu. So we can, um you guys have any small person that you want on the youtube side let me know because i will i don't mind rating small people because i'm still small and giving that extra little boost that extra little confidence boost that extra little hey you know someone actually rated me 
type of situation. I would love to give that to somebody. So I mean we could if not we can we can just go to site. Not we can just go to site. Um No worries, Rebna. It was the last time you were here, I think. I think I think it was like cuz yeah, it, it was it was, we did raid Sayu at one point. We absolutely did raid Sayu at one point. But what I want to know now is if you guys have someone uh on the other side on the YouTube side. Sayu is fine? Okay, we'll do Sayu then. Odessa's live? Odessa is live. Okay, Odessa. Who's Odessa? Odessa, Odessa, Odessa. Let's look at Odessa. Did we sh did, if we have uh, Odessa well, I'm I'm seeing uh, something else for Odessa. She's one k smaller than me. Odessa underscore channel or what? Bam pirate. Oh, is what's what's the what's your actual what's up, Bao Bao? Ah, you caught me, Bao Bao. As we were about to freaking raid out. I'm so sorry, Bao Bao, but yeah, we we're about to raid out. But you are gonna catch my goodbye thing you do. So um. I don't see Rima Evans star a lot uh, uh, on right now. So it's Odessa channel, right? Odessa CH. Uh, Odessa VTuber. Odessa VTuber, right? What, what's the name of the channel? The actual name of the channel. Vampire, Vampire Odessa. Okay. Vampire Odessa. There we go. She's doing karaoke. So she's doing some karaoke. So yeah, some good stuff. Vampire Raid Odessa, I got that. Okay. Welcome, Bao Bao. Thank you for being here. Of course, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and then I'm going to send you guys to the respective places. Vampire Raid Odessa on the uh, YouTube side, and Blue Ferret on the Twitch side. It's all set up. What I have to say to you guys is what I've always said. Thank you guys for being here. I've already said this. You guys help out a ton. You make my nights fun. You make the whole moment that I have here fun. It is just so much more fun than just not having any of this so i appreciate you uh thank you for bringing laughs for supporting for everything that you've done uh remember one very important thing you guys deserve to be loved you guys deserve to be cared for you guys deserve the attention and all all the positive things head pats pat on the back whatever you want to accept you can uh you can definitely you definitely deserve that I am very proud of where you have come to right now, where you are. Uh, the struggles that you've gone through is something that you yourself know. But you are someone that is very important to a lot of people. Don't forget that you are valid, as valid as anyone bigger or smaller than you, anyone stronger or weaker than you. You're a very valid person. I appreciate you. I will continue to be here to give you news and to just chill and chat with you whenever I can. I will continue to do my best to bring you entertainment whenever I can as well. Don't worry, Salty Dog VT, you're here. You lurk. If you've been lurking, if you've been here for five minutes, if you've been here the whole time, I appreciate you all the same. You guys showing up every time I stream means the world to me. It really does. Thank you guys. Love you all so much. Have a wonderful evening. And of course, as always, take care of yourself. Hydrate. And have a wonderful, wonderful time. Love y'all. Arara, mama, bye. And of course, we are going to be raiding through to other people. So don't leave yet if you want to see the raid. <laughs>